Again, this is the grand finale of Yakuza Week. I played Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today's Friday. It is the last day of playing for the purposes of this week celebrating and diving deep into Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, but we're not done with the game, and we will not be finishing the game tonight. We are only on chapter... let me look, chapter 9, I think. We're on chapter 9 of, I believe, 14 chapters. Um, when this week started, we were on chapter... 6. Right? Is that right? Is it... No. Just kidding, we were on chapter 7. Where's the month at here? Yeah, the month's at the end. We were on chapter 7. So, we've made quite a bit of prog progress. I feel like we might get to chapter 10 today as well. I don't know how long this stuff ends up taking. So, I feel like 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 4 chapter, like about averaging a chapter a day. You know, plus or minus some situations. Not a bad time for us. Um, what else, what else? Hopefully I will finish the game this month though. I would like to at least do that. So we're gonna see how that stuff goes. Maybe we'll throw in some bonus streams here and there. This is the last day of making a big dent. Um, I've finally been actually bonding with these characters, which has been helpful, I think. Um, and before this, I was gunning for chapter, a chapter, level 25, because I'm like, I feel like that will put me in a decent spot for the next section, because the last boss I did was a level 25 boss and I wasn't level 25. Just adjusting my audio because I don't have my headset on so I can wear my hat. Okay, let me know if this, if you're getting weird audio, uh, what's the word? Not reverb, but like echo, right? Uh, so let me know if that's going down. If, in which case I can change the headphones if necessary. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and see where we're at. Um... I don't see any other side stuff popping up, hanging out. How much money do I have? 5,000? That's like not a ridiculous amount. I think let's just, let's just go. Let's just go the next thing and let me just take a taxi also. I finally started taking taxis in this game. I had it for like the longest time just because it's a waste of money. Um, sometimes I do just want to get where I want to go quickly. It is a nice way to get to know the area more, which might help me with the, um... There is, like, quizzes at the vocational school that are related to... The, um... Like, knowing the city, so... Hopefully that translates there. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's my first coffee of the day, actually. Mostly today, I... What have I been doing today? I had an errand in the morning, um with my dad. We took my dad to the, the doctor. Chilled there. Finally played um, games on the Tesla using a controller, which was a pretty good experience, I feel like. Um, played some cat quests, so that's exciting. Um, we got McDonald's, and then I also just went back to bed after, after that point. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Little bitch. Do you want your bar destroyed? Huh? You boys do what you gotta do. Listen, Granny. I don't gotta do anything. It don't benefit me at all to wreck your place. So why don't you just tell me what I want to know? Where's Kasuga? Folks said you would know. Hmm. If everyone told you to jump off a cliff, would you? <laughs> you should jump off a cliff, crusty old hag. Oh my god! Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to hit so hard. It's been a while since I've punched a woman. <laughs> so, do you feel like talking yet, Grandma? <laughs> Give it another yeah. swing. Oh my gosh. And this time, try to have better aim. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, it's Cliff. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. Hey, play Ford, how are you going? I thought you had work during that time. Kasuga, uh, you decided to show up. Idiot. Why are you here? I'm the kind of guy who does whatever I'm told not to do. 
Hey, what's up, Absol? Just for the night. Oh, okay. That should be fun. You okay, Hamako san? <laughs> Enjoy no the uh, TwitchCon energy. I, I'll, I think I'm gonna try to go next year. It wasn't like that. Oh sure, you just didn't approve of these guys. Ooh, I don't know Bigger the Hut. Right? This is my first one, so You're tough, tough for me to say. <laughs> yep, they just weren't up to my standards. Will you let us handle it from here, though? <laughs> yeah, I think you've got it. <laughs> Stop right there! Out of the way. This game is so good. I uh, concur, Kirk. It's. I mean, it's weird because it didn't come out this year, but I'm like, it's probably one of the better games I've played this year, honestly. Are you already back in the chair? If this came out this year, this would definitely be in my top ten, approaching probably probably top five, I think. I'm done with the old man. You are? Yeah, because the stupid Eugene Show standoff was a fucking scam. Our bosses forced us to sit on our asses no matter what happened. Meanwhile, they raked in the cash. Who told you that? Bleach Japan. They've been spreading the word. We're not gonna be a goddamn joke anymore. Hell, the chairman's acting like Laumann never even shot up our boys. Huh? Our captain left to raid Zhao's men, and now he's a guest in Zhao's restaurant. It's all bullshit, and we're not Yeah, I probably remember these boys from previous games, so it ends up working out. agree with me. We're all together on this. You can't stop us, Kasuga. Even our brothers at HQ are ready to tear down Hoshino! Let me get this straight. You become top dog, and the first thing you want to do with that power is come after me? Hold on, I want, a, I want some candy. <laughs> Give me a second. Did you do a deep dive into any neck? No, I have not, Super Nintendo Dead. Let me know um, what has come out of that for you, if you have. Definitely a content goal eventually is to do like Steam Next Fest and just go super hard on streaming it and then subsequently maybe doing some write-ups on different games. But um, there's just so much content that I'm like, oh, I'll, we'll, we'll see what comes of it when it comes of it. But yeah, let me know if you guys have been digging into Steam Next Fest. Sure. After you, tear your limb from limb, dump the pieces in the bay. Huh. Well, let's say you actually managed to pull that off. Then what? Then I take control of the counterfeiting racket, along with this entire fucking town. Play the music. Battle is on. Here we go. Okay. Let me sure. Okay, no, it's her. I'm worried other people will hit me somehow, even though that's not how the game works. Um, I'm doing good. I still have, I actually did leave the band-aid on. I was gonna take it off from yesterday's shot, but when I started peeling it, I'm like, it's actually on there like pretty well. So I'm like, I'll just leave it for now. Um, so I'm, e I'm eating some Snickers. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty good. I was a little tired, but I'm tired all the time. So I have no idea if that's like a booster tired or not. So I did take a nap. After um, waking up and running errands this morning, I went back to my house and napped. Um, my boyfriend Isaiah, though, has got hit really bad with it. Like last night, he got really like cold and and hot and was really exhausted and like dehydrated today. So he like took a nap much, out of much more necessity. I was like, oh, I'm a little tired. I could go for a nap. Um, but he was like out for um, a good couple hours, just sort of in the afternoons when we slept. Um, I think he's doing a lot better now, so that's good, but I feel, yes, he did a thumbs up from a distance. I feel basically totally normal. I think my, my arm does really hurt, like my arm's really sore. I was going to do my um, skate lesson tomorrow, but I canceled it because I'm like, I just feel like my arm is really sore and I can't move it comfortably. Um, so, but other than the arm being sore, I feel totally normal. Nothing happened to me, which is very convenient. Um, 
And I think has left Isaiah feeling a little bit jealous that I'm unscathed <laughs> by the thing. And it's like we got, it's funny because we're like, you know, very similar in age, fairly similar in everything else, um, you know, live in the same place, got the same vaccine, you know, it's Pfizer, it's like Pfizer, Pfizer, booster, booster, and he's like totally out by it apparently he said that happened with his other ones too i don't remember that happening i'm like i thought we were both fine the whole time he's apparently been on, on death's door for the, the last like three vaccines um so yeah i mean unsurprisingly it's that's always a possibility we were talking about that yesterday but yeah i feel fine so i'm lucky in that i don't i don't really feel anything i maybe feel a little bit more tired but even like i said I, that might just be me feeling tired and it being in my head like a placebo effect fatigue thing but I like felt totally normal, so that was good. They say if you have a strong reaction to the vaccine, you would have a ser have had a serious case. Um, so Isaiah and me, I'll keep the short second. Actually, I can I can just play while I talk about this. Both Isaiah and I have had COVID, unfortunately. Um, those of you who maybe like follow me a lot on Twitter might have remembered that happening because I did I did post about it when that happened. Um, my whole household got COVID, actually. Like, my brother, his now wife, my dad, Isaiah. I guess Bruce was fine, but um, that's kind of it. So, um, actually, let's do Mega Swing. And, um, here we go. All of us got hit really hard with it. I mean, it definitely wasn't as bad as it can be for some people. Like, none of us had to go, like, the hospital or anything. Or do any, like, additional medical care or anything like that. But we had at least, like, one or two days, maybe even three days, where it's, like, really, really sick. And then after that, it's, like, oh, a, 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 a really bad cold vibes. Um, rather than, like, being completely, like, out of it. Um, except for my dad. Actually, my dad was pretty much fine, which is very fortunate because he's the oldest and most vulnerable person from a physical standpoint because he's over 60. He was actually pretty much fine. I think he did end up developing a bit of a cough. Like my brother said he heard him coughing like pretty bad during that time. No, no one loves me. Um, is this enough? Damn, it wasn't enough. Shouldn't have been cheap, I guess. So yeah, anyway, that's my, like, very long-winded response to... Funnily enough, even though I haven't had any, like, adverse reactions to the vaccine itself, both me and Isaiah got really sick when we had COVID. I guess we're just, just to knock him out, you know? Finally. Okay, now she's gonna heal everybody. Um, but yeah, those, those are rough times. I did tweet about it quite a bit, like kind of just what I had gone through for it. If I don't know, you want to try to dig up that, uh, what's the word, anecdotal information? But yeah, it was really, really bad, um, which I was like kind of surprised by. I think like many people, even though, like, I would say, I don't I don't think I was ever head-ass about it. I was always pretty um, cautious about the potential of getting COVID, and I tried to, you know, take precautions and things. I do think in my head, I imagined, oh, if I got COVID, I maybe, maybe it wouldn't hit me that bad. Or, um, what's the word? Ooh, this guy hit me if I try to hit the other guy. Don't hit me, don't hit me. No, he hit me! Um... That, like, maybe I'd be fine. And that, that mostly came from um, not getting COVID for so long in the pandemic. Like, I had gotten it, um, I don't know, like, half a year ago this year. So I was like, I guess I'm either, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I'm either never going to get it or I've gotten it and I was, what's the word, asymptomatic. So I'm just like, okay, well, I guess I'm lucky. And then it's like, actually, I was not lucky. Um... I mean, I guess I was lucky in that it could have been worse earlier, but or I could have gotten it earlier, but Let's go. You're in it now. Um, what do we want to do with this guy? I think we actually want to knock out this weaker member 
Great. Inflicted bleed. But yeah, there was like a wave that hit California really bad um, a few months ago, and that's when I got it. And like everyone I knew got it. And everyone I knew like online in California. It wasn't like, oh, I went to an event where everyone was there or something like that. Um, so yeah, I just kind of a lot of games people got hit around that time. And that was like when it got me. Um, which luckily it was after my brother's wedding and not during or before. How old are you when you played your first M-rated game? Me? I was probably, um, maybe like nine, maybe younger, like plus or minus a few years up from nine. Because my, I think my first M-rated game, I mean, I never really thought about it because it wasn't something that was like super forbidden or anything like that. Um, my parents definitely had some pause when it came to like giving me stuff that was seemingly for adults, like parental advisory stuff or whatever. Well, my parents didn't really buy me much stuff in general, um, and then I play a lot of Nintendo games, so obviously a lot of those games aren't going to be... There's very few even M-rated games on the platform. So really, it wasn't until um, we got... I got the PlayStation that... And PlayStation stuff, like the PSP and the PS2 as my first PlayStation console, <clears throat> that I even had really the option to get um, M-rated games. My first M-rated game, I'm guessing, was probably a GTA game, which we would just, like, change over when you know, my parents were, would walk by or whatever. Um, but yeah, that was probably my first time rated game. And my grandma didn't, she bought most of our games like that. And I don't think she cared at all about the idea of it being like, you know, oh, this is M for mature. You Like she didn't really care about it. Um, same parents didn't buy much. Yeah, it's like we didn't have a lot of those conversations. If Hamako-san ever tells me you showed your sorry ass face around here. I'll roll you into a bamboo mat and toss you in. Let me let this go first. That's a promise. We clear? We're clear. But yeah, let me know in the chat what your M-rated game was. Doo -doo -doo. Why is it like zoom? Okay. Why is it zooming into my pants pocket? I went to college in 2003. Before that, I only had Nintendo systems and nothing mature. Exactly, that's... That was like... I think what Hello? stopped a lot of us from getting M-rated games. <laughs> the fact that we played we're Nintendo consoles. Okay. We underestimated Bleach Japan big time. Turns out the Omi Alliance is behind them. From the start, their plan was to take out the EG-3. Lauma was just using you to get that done. I was thinking the same thing. Why? you already knew? Ha! <laughs> and here I thought I was finally gonna get a thanks out of you. <laughs> Someday. Maybe I shouldn't bother telling you the other stuff I know. Uh, do it just in case, you know? As we speak, Bleach Japan protesters are marching to Komichu. About a thousand of them. What? Yeah, and the crazy thing is, they aren't civilians. They're only soldiers. It's a Yakuza invasion disguised as a political protest. Fucking coward. Seriously? They're gonna try and get at the counterfeiting machine. I just know it. The Great Wall's strength depends on that thing. So the Omi want to expose the Ejing 3s whole operation? They're just the muscle. The orders come from Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan knows all about Some the see, man. And they figure if they destroy that, they'll destroy the Great Wall. Yeah, but that's where you come in. Assuming you still want to lend the Komi Jewel a hand. Why us? Why not your guys? I wish I could use my guys, but... There's so much drama in this city. What? Mabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. And what? Now it's full-on mutiny? Yeah. He's out there saying the EG-3 bosses live the high life without sharing the wealth. A lot of my crew are buying it. My chances of getting a knife <clears throat> in the back are pretty high right now. And so are Chairman Hoshino's. So yeah, I'm not gonna send away what few loyal guys I got left. I get it. So can you help? Don't make me beg. You begging me might be interesting. Look, help us now and the EG-3 will forget all about the number. Really? Do I have your word on that? Yeah. I'll talk to him myself. They'll come around. We got a deal? Uh, we do. 
but I still feel like I'm getting the raw end of it. As long as you're taking it. Ah, shit, I'm on the time for chit-chat. But let me tell you one more thing. The guy giving these orders to reach Japan, it's the director, Ogasawara. So, he hung up. He asked us to go help the Komi Jewel. Us? Help them? In exchange for letting Namba off the hook, right? Yeah, your hearing's good, Adachi. Did you also hear that Ogasawara's behind the whole thing? So I guess we'll be paying him a visit, too. Definitely. I've got a lot of questions for our pal. I wonder if, you know, no spoilers, I haven't played this game before. I wonder if Namba, is he gonna come back to the squad? Right, he's saving his life? Okay. Um, so catching up on chat, uh, Muso Steven, I'm doing pretty good. Um, arms a little sore from getting the vaccine, the vaccine booster part two yesterday. Um, and then down, no, Don Wayne, sorry. So my parents bought me the, the Warriors before I was in first grade. What the fuck were they doing? I don't remember what the Warriors was, so that doesn't really ring any bells for me. Um, feel free to remind me. Oh god, what kind of game that was? Jeez. You gotta always hit pause, those random encounters will get ya. Okay, let's, let me just try to block some of this stuff going on. Okay. Nice. Good perfect guards. Okay. Um, no, I feel fine other than my arm being sore. Um, I got it yesterday, so I think I'm basically out of the woods at this point. Most people I talked to either felt bad that same day or 24 hours after. And um, I got it early yesterday, so... Well, excuse me, it's been well over 24 hours. Obviously, technically a chance that stuff could hit later, but I think I'm good. Okay, Ocarina of Time and Pokemon Red were my go-to games back then. And that's actually showing my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can definitely relate to that. Um, yeah, Mortal Kombat, I feel like that is a very popular first mature game. Because really, like, obviously, you know, different people are going to want their kids to be exposed to different things but like it's really just blood and gore which i feel like isn't as bad as like i don't know sex drug stuff or whatever so i did a quick google too and i usually didn't get games the year they came out like i was usually kind of behind on stuff so i don't remember what year i got liberty city stories but liberty city stories for the psp came out in 2005 so i was probably like I think the oldest I would have been for my first mature game was maybe 12, but I honestly could have been like 9, I don't remember, because I don't remember when my first GTA was. I did play some stuff on console, but I know I played a lot of Liberty City stories on my PSP. And I'm not sure what year the PSP came out. Like, I was always like a little bit behind on stuff, like I kind of just got to things when I could, and I knew like what the hot games were, and that's also why like people don't really notice that I haven't played Let's see, do we want to do Giga Swing? Let's do Giga Swing. I haven't played like a lot of games from these individual platforms. Like, it's interesting. Like, now that I'm older and like I have my own like money, and also like I work in this industry, so obviously I get a lot of games as part of my job. Um, I probably should do the other move actually. I don't know why I did the rolling step. Well, it worked. Um, but with that being said, like, I didn't play that many games. Like, each, um, like for the GameCube, for instance, I only owned, the entire time I had the GameCube, I had maybe 12 games. Because, you know, the games are pretty expensive. Like, the console's expensive, so you would think you want to get more use of the console, but the games were also expensive. So I really only had, like, until, that probably stayed the same for me, actually, until, like, the PS4, PS5 era, to be honest. Like, when I was a full adult, fully in the industry, that's when I started, like, really working on playing everything, keeping up with what's hot, you know really like being part of that era maybe a little bit on the ps3 like i probably started following stuff more on the ps3 um but yeah that's what was up so but no one notices that about me because i played the bangers so no one notices that i only had like 12 games because i'm like well i played mario sunshine i played luigi's mansion i played um you know i rented budokai you mentioned the rentals i rented budokai on the gamecube i played nba street I played NFL Street, um, so yeah, no one knows that I didn't actually play that many games because no one, you know, especially I think those like older consoles, no offense to like 
you know, older generations, there's a lot of good games on every platform, but I just feel like because probably stuff was harder to access and a lot of us were younger who are in the industry now, um, there's not as much of an expectation that you, like, had... Like, it doesn't come up as much, I think, because it's so old, right? It's kind of like, um... Right now, when it comes to PS3 games, we really only mention, like, you know, seven of them. Or some, Wind Waker is another one I played, yes. Um, we only mention a couple, like, in the modern era. Like, we might talk about, like... I don't know, some of the... Like, for me, the PS3 era is a lot about getting those collections and stuff, so... After the fact, it's like, you, don't, you only gotta know, like, four games for people to be like, Oh yeah, you were there. Heading to a family dinner so can't stay but just wanted to stop by and wish everyone a happy Yakuza weekday 5 big finale, oh yeah. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Joe, and thank you for um, making me play this game. I actually have really enjoyed it and I think it's really good, so uh, enjoy your dinner. Are we gonna have to fight all of them? Maybe they're like one, like level one or something. The beach man says it's for real. There's an army of them. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, there's something we tried. The gray zone be washed barren. And not much. Yeah. He's our director, and pretty soon he's going to shine the spotlight on the city's counterfeiting problem. <laughs> uh, thanks to us, the day the Great Wall of Muscle finally collapses is here. Dun 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 dun. Um, oh yeah, but to get back to like Nintendo's question too, I mean I'll be reading this dialogue if there's more. Oh, us, huh? I'll take it you mean all the dudes you bought brought in to clean up the Gray Zone. You know they're all Omi Yakuza, right? Huh? The hell was that? An upstanding citizen like myself ain't gonna take that lying down. Then you ought to drop that thick-ass inside dialect, friend. Huh? <laughs> You're telling me you ain't Omi? Heh. How's my Kansai? 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 Sure. Impression. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Think it's wise to be making fools Listen. of us? Sounds like you owe them an apology. If you do, I can make them stand down. Oh. You want me to grovel? Naturally, you can start by getting down on your hands and knees. The whole nine yards, huh? Yep, otherwise, you might not like the consequences. I'm the only one who can save you now. Pretty lame threats from someone who thinks he's cleaning the world up. Your heart's as black as they come. <clears throat> Shut up, you hussy. Wow, the real you's coming out. But I'm a hussy, you're just the garbage come under on. my heels, <laughs> bitch. Um, are we not getting our point across? We'll never bow down to you, chief. You're nothing but damn thugs. Huh, what a bunch of all these jokers. It won't be very funny, though, when I'm through with you. Consider it my greeting for the engine. Yep. Engine 3. All right. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know they started hitting me right away. Okay. So, evening. Chat, how's everything going? Oh, yeah, and then, um, hey, how's, what's up? It looks like you're about to do a, a dance battle. I finished Beacon Pines today on Game Pass. Fun nice! I actually uh, had gotten a code pretty recently for Beacon Pines. I want to check that out. It's just been... There's there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> I gotta come up with like a work backlog. Like a work games backlog. Let's try to do Mega Swing. Um... But yeah, it seems really cool. I was, I was super interested in it. Go, go, run, run. Go, girl. Yeah! Okay. Um... What else? What else? Oh yeah, back to Nintendo's question. Or kind of like general, I don't know, a little slightly open comment, comment, obviously, um, yeah, I don't know, I mean, I'm not a parent, so I don't, I'm not sure how I'd go about stuff like that, um, for me, it's probably more about the content than the rating itself, so I don't, I don't personally know offhand what makes Persona a mature rated game, um, though I will say, like, I don't know, it's tough because we're also in a, you know, a modern era, right, like, I remember one of my friends who's a journalist, she didn't want her son playing... I forgot what game it was. Uh, we'll, we'll say it's Persona 5. But I don't, it wasn't Persona 5. It was a different game. And she's like, yeah, you're, you're not allowed to play this game. It might have been like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever game it was, the kid wasn't allowed to play. But she saw her son watching Let's Plays of it on YouTube. And she's like... And he's like, well, what? You said I wasn't allowed to play it. But like, like he just really liked the game and was really interested in the game. So he was like watching it. I don't necessarily think he was trying to like... 
I don't know, pull a fast one on her necessarily, but like, she would kind of was tweeting about it and was like, at that point, like, I mean, I don't, I feel like I didn't, you know, like my attempt of not letting my kid play this game didn't really end up shielding him from the content of the game. Um, so I don't know, that's just something to think about. Like, those are like things that I'm sure you probably have already thought about, but yeah. Um, oh, what my son wanting Persona 5? I feel like 13, I was 13 when Persona 5 came out. Um, I would have just played it. Yeah, like, you know, obviously different people will have different, what's the word, boundaries, I guess. Um, but yeah, like my, I mean, my parents really didn't control much about my media. If anything, my brother controlled more of my media intake than I did. Um, it's funny because I was, um, let's have everyone heal. I was telling this story the other day to Isaiah about how, um, when I was a kid, I watched The Matrix 2 and 3 with my brother. And we watched it like a couple times. Just, you know, it was back in the day, you just had DVDs. So like we had it on DVD. So it was definitely like a favorite movie of ours. And I watched that when I was like pretty young. And literally every time we watched Matrix 2, and this is like, if you know Matrix 2, you'll like know this more. Why is this disconnected? I have it plugged in. Give me a second. Let's see. It shouldn't be disconnected because it's, it's literally part wired into the console. Um, ooh, desperate throw. I don't remember that. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's do Fiendish Slash. Um, there's a scene apparently in Matrix 2 where it's like the club orgy scene or whatever. Where they like, I guess, I, again, I actually still haven't seen this scene, I don't think, even as an adult. But when it would, when that scene would come up, my brother would always skip ahead to the next, like, chapter of the DVD. And he just told me like, oh, we're gonna skip this part because it's really boring. Um, it's just them dancing for like seven minutes. It's a stupid fucking scene. And I was like, okay. But actually, that was a sex scene that he just didn't want me to watch because I was a kid. Um, so I think that was really funny, but I totally bought that at the time. So I don't know. I feel like it doesn't help with your problem, but just to share, um, someone has to, you know, I guess, monitor some of that to a degree. Definitely don't think it should be completely unmonitored, but it's tough when you have, like, access to so much shit. Okay. Yeah, he has to deal with a lot of, like, random shit like that. Because, like, he was definitely, like, the person that took care of me the most growing up. You know, he's six years older than me, so he was, you know, obviously older than me my whole life. So, like, when I was, like, in middle school and stuff, he was just, you know, the main person that, like, hung out with me, knew what was going on with me. Like, he was very involved. Um, no, what is going on with this? Okay, should I, like, be concerned? I have this plugged in. Like, it's hardwire plugged in. And it shows that it's on. Let me unplug it and replug it in. Is the cable faulty? What do we think here? What the heck? Huh. Maybe I should just try a different controller. I'm just gonna... I don't know if Isaiah's gonna come back, but... For the time being, because it's being wonky. Yeah, try blowing into it, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> See if Isaiah answers. I think he's in the living room, so. Do, do, do. Hello. Hi, are you in the living room? Like the kitchen? Oh. Where are you? <laughs> oh, can you do me a favor and just grab me the, um, the blue uh, Xbox controller that's by the TV when you get a chance? Okay, cool. Bye. Um, take the battery out and connect it again. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll do that. Yeah, it seems just very odd, but it was rough when I went to out of state college, had to leave my sis behind. Oh, yeah, that does sound hard. I was lucky in that, like, my brother did live with us for a while before he got, like, older. And then when he left, he, like, he eventually ended up coming back to live with us anyway, just because the situation he had with his roommate was not a positive one. Not that the situation at home was, like, great either, but just, you know. Stuff's tough. And then we've always, like, lived together for a real long time. I mean, we live together now, so... Um, we've had eras where we didn't live together. Like, when I moved to SF, I lived on my own. But by then, I was, like, so old that it, like, it wasn't as deep. But I remember when my brother first got a job, um, which he got a job when he was, like, 18, 19, and it would be gone for, like, so long from the house, I would be so fucking bored, because we didn't really have, like, you know, 
well, one, we didn't have as much technology and resources as, as we do now. Like, even me as a kid, like, if I would have had Xbox Game Pass as a kid, I would have been so locked in. Like, I would have played so much shit that Apple Arcade as a kid would have been, like, transformative. Um, but we didn't have a lot of that stuff, so... And also, I wasn't... I don't think I was as heavy into gaming as I am now. Like, gaming was very much just something I did. It wasn't, like, my entire life. Um... But yeah, I was very bored. I got used to it after, you know, a couple days, a couple weeks, list. but... You think you get away? This is an assault. We assaulted you. You couldn't lower, sink lower if you tried. Right. I think the un, the take the battery out pop back in might work. Actually. In the UK, nice. I still miss my sister. She's in Baltimore. I live with her in a second if she needed me. Spent a week with her and she gave, after she gave birth, helping with a newborn. Nice. Wish I could have stayed longer. <clears throat> That's very cool of you to come through for that. Um, listen, do you even know these guys were only a Yakuza? But the grandma's descended. <laughs> Yo. Hey, you really don't... No, be honest. Do you like any sports? I do like sports. Um, so you did have an idea and it was off. Hold on, I might have to read through this first. But ignoring it was awfully convenient, <sighs> no. huh? Up yours. I mean, I'm no expert, but when you call that a gray zone... Ooh! Got him. Sup? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I might have ended up needing it. My controller just kept disconnecting for some reason. Oh, thanks. The protest is probably, um, busting in by now. It's... If not, it's only a matter of time. If this guy- many guys raid them, not even hung high to scare them off. Either way, we better get moving. Also, like, this is kind of like a late reaction because we talked about this already, but I am surprised that, like, Bleach Japan was, like, in- in the city drama in such, like, a, a big nefarious way. Maybe we should try blending wow. in as protesters. Good idea, that could work. <clears throat> Take their clothes. Um, I like NFL and NHL. For me, if it came to watching sports, um, MLS would be probably my sport of choice. Yeah, soccer. Um, but I haven't watched sports in a long time just because I've been kind of disconnected from everything. But for as a kid, I really liked basketball. Um, as an adult, my number one sport, of course, is running. Um, I don't watch running stuff, though, at this point, but I, I am a runner. I'm a distance runner. Um, other stuff I like to play. I would like to get back into basketball, because I think that could be really fun. And... Uh, yeah. mm. Here we I'm going to forget. I roller skate, so I like roller skating a lot. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I would love to get back into watching basketball. Oh, not basketball. Watching soccer. I might try to get into watching basketball, because my brother's obsessed with basketball and he's now like in sports journalism covering basketball so um it could be a fun thing to get to connect over like he's also a you know a huge gamer and a big gaming fan like he watches all of like the kind of funny stuff and like when i was at ign he was watching all of that so um you know you'll see him in the stream sometimes too like we'll probably do a stream together in a few weeks um but yeah this might make me quit the game for a few months oh no wait shit should i have saved the game first Fuck. <laughs> Why didn't I save the game first? Damn. We fucked up. I've tried watching basketball. Yeah, I think in general sports, it's like you gotta... There's like that learning curve. And also some stuff just might not be interesting to people. I used to watch a little bit of basketball when I, um... Was into playing it as a kid. Like, I, when I was like nine, I was really into playing basketball. Even if he's here, there's no um, I would love to get more into, like, yeah, playing just a wider variety of sports. I think soccer could be really fun. I like badminton, but I'm really bad at serving, apparently, from when I played it the other day. Um, I want to try rock climbing. Like, I, there's just so much cool shit that you can do in life. Like, really, this is, like, such a fucking dumb comment. Really, when you think about it, it's like, are we not just living the most thorough and in-depth RPG? I mean, the money aspect of everything is a pain in the ass where a lot of shit's locked off from people. But if you have some level of means, you, there's like a lot of shit you can do. It's pretty cool. You can do whatever you want at any time within some degree of reason. And I think that's really exciting. Like today, you could be like, I'm gonna start painting. And like, granted, again, you'll need to spend a little bit of money even if you bought like, you know, shitty watercolor from, from uh, fucking 
the dollar store or whatever. But you could just you could just do it. You just look, and then you just pull up YouTube and just start fucking painting. Um, that's pretty cool. So we're gonna have her do smash step. I definitely forgot that I can do stuff as an adult, right? Like it's pretty cool. Again, very basic revelation of me, but it's like, oh man. Um, like there's a lot of stuff I want to do. Like I, at one point as a kid, I knew how to bike, but I've since kind of lost the ability to ride a bike where I never really got fully good at biking as an adult or on like a big kid bike. So I want to buy a bike and like learn how to bike again and have that be a thing. I don't know how to swim, but I'd like to learn. And then after swimming, I think it'd be cool. It, even though it's cold as fuck, so I don't know if I'd want to do it, but I'm like, it might be cool to learn how to surf. Like if I could go from not knowing how to swim to being able to surf. Okay, um, I tried to ride a bike after decades and fell right over. Yeah, it'll it'll take a little bit to get there, but okay, I think after this, she's gonna I'm gonna have to heal everybody. Okay, let's see. Let's do. What do we got here? This guy could be a good one to take on. We can take some recoil damage, but I think it's fine. Let's 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 take this guy because we might be able to kill him. Because we're going to heal everybody, so it's fine. Okay, great. Now she's going. She's going to heal everybody. Okay, who's left? Um, let's do Bat Buster on this guy. I tried to ride a bike. Okay, uh, learning to tread water is pretty important. Even if you never learn how to really swim. Yeah, like, this is a good skill. The w water is definitely, like, scary. It's, like, the biggest part of our planet. It's horrifying. Um, I rode a, um, a jet ski when I was in Minnesota, and that was incredibly fun, but I was terrified. Even though, like, you know, I had on protective gear. Like, I had a life vest and stuff like that. I like jacket. I was around, like, Ben and his wife and, like, you know... It was fine, like, I was gonna be fine, but I was so scared, and they, like, explained so much information on, like, what to do if, um... Okay, well, I'm gonna heal myself, actually. Like, what to do if, like, the the jet ski stops working, and they're like, oh, it might flip over, and then you have to do this thing. I'm like, I don't know how- this- I can't do any of this, so I hope that everything's fine. And it was, and it was very fun, but I was very scared. Um... In general, like, I'm just a very skittish person, so I get scared pretty easily. Um, even, like, um, my brother's really into, like, racing. Um, like, cars, you know? Like, watching it, not that he doesn't do it, but, like, just, uh, the sport. And, um, I thought it'd be fun, and it was, um, to do, like, uh, the fancy, like, go-karts. Like, there's, like, those, uh, places in in uh, LA and in, in our general area where you can like, oh, go go-karting and it's like super legit and stuff. So we did that, but before we started, they're like, okay, here's how you do it. Like, make sure, you know, if the thing dies, like pull over and like slow people on this side and like dump them into each other. Or, like if you kind of fuck up too bad, we're gonna have to stop the race for everybody because, you know, for safety reasons and you have like a helmet and it's like very legit. Um, and also I don't drive in real life. Like I don't know how to drive. Which you don't need a license to do it, and you're like indoors, it's like not that deep. But I was like very nervous doing it, and like it's funny because me and my brother are like the same person. And after we like got done, he was like, Oh my god, I was so nervous before we started. I was like, Me too. I felt like stressed. He's like, Honestly, I was debating being like, What if we just don't even do this? Like, we'd been waiting hours to go like drive. And he was excited about the idea. Like, when I told him and when I brought him there, he thought it was very cool. But both of us were like, Oh my god, this is scary. Um, I got a road bike a couple years ago. It's very fun, but I forgot the bike seats suck, so you kind of have to deal with the butt pain for a week, and then you get used to it. Yeah, I think I might try to buy. I've heard too that like the bike seats are made for like many things in the world, or designed for like men. Um, 
slash like cis men. So um, I might look into buying like seats that are more designed for like women um, that are supposed to be more comfortable because I think they are designed for dudes mostly. Not that they're comfortable for guys, but you know. Uh, I know too many animals in the ocean. No thanks. I grew up in a beach town too. I had a crippling fear of deep water that I never understood until I learned about a near drowning incident that I had repressed. Apparently my little sister almost drowned and I jumped in even though I couldn't swim either. Oh man, managed to save her. That fear is deep seated. I was like five or six years old. Nice. That's intense. Um, yeah, I think if I have a kid, I want to give them the little, the little baby swim lessons. You piece. Oh my God. Oh. Well, those people are definitely dead, right? Like, I don't think, can you survive that? Who gave you permission to start the party without me, you little shits? Asshole! Quit swinging that thing around! I thought I was a goner. Kasuga, that's an Omi Alliance lieutenant. Lieutenant? Reiji Ishioda. Don't you remember him? I don't think so. Really? He was at that officer's meeting in Kamurocho. The place where you were shot. I love they do that, um, these, like, little recap moments. Because I, 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 as the player, didn't remember him. Hey, I've seen that mangy ass hair before. Well, I know you. Uh, yeah, I remember. You're the guy the acting captain shot. Huh. So what if I am? I'm surprised you're alive. Why are you here? Oh, it's a real tearjerker of a story. You better grab some tissues before I tell it. Oh, damn. That dramatic, huh? Do... Do you actually want to hear it? No, you dumbass. Tell your stories in hell. Time to go balls to the wall! Yeah, all the biggest characters have, like, full suits on. We're gonna fight a crane? Let's get this show on the road. <sighs> Listen, guys. One smack of that wrecking ball and you're done. So whatever you do, watch where it's going. We still have to watch out for his little army. Let him come. <sighs> yeah, they're scared now, so they cool. I came in like a wrecking ball. I guess I'll just do this attack. Hit it with the bat. Okay, I don't think you can charm the wrecking ball, so. Or, like, slide pose the wrecking ball. But, like, I need a guy to get past this part. Ooh! Oh. I didn't know it came back the other way. Is there a way to avoid taking damage there? Fighting a crane with a bat and a sword. Um. Come on. I think I might wait to do that, actually. Hopefully it's not me being too cheap. It seems like it'll automatically, like, shoot. Well, he's at least fell down, so. Right. They're all stunned, though, so that's awkward. My MP back. I'm back in my pride. I'm up. Let's go. All right. Damn it all. You're gonna get stuck. Right. 
I get my MP back a little bit. <clears throat> Good to go. Get alive. I'm not back. Let's go. So dizzy. All right. Um. You know what? Let's do this, and then maybe we can just do like, you know, get my damage up a little bit. Don't get caught. Here we go. Okay, and then I guess we should restore everybody's HP at this point. Hey, thanks for the bits. I appreciate it. He's been stunned this whole time. Shoot. At least he's not stunned, finally. At least he didn't get stunned before he could do his extra attack. Um... Let's try Balanced Cheer. Damn it. You know what? Isn't there like an item I can put on that stops you from being stunned? I'm up. Yeah, shit. That would have been good. Um, oh well. I'm not backing down. I don't think I can do this on a I can't do this on now, yeah, I can't do this on a See, we got medium. I'm gonna see if this is more damage. I'd say the same as the other one. Take your best shot. Try this on the side. Let me out you go away. Oh shit. I accidentally restored my own Stop. HP. I meant to restore his. No! Oops. Fuck. If I didn't if I didn't fuck that up, I would have been fine, I think. Damn it. Damn it. Shoot, I shouldn't I just hit A, I didn't even see what the options were. Cause I would I would have wanted to change my gear out if I could. Let's get this show on the road. We still have to right up. Right. Oh well. Um Okay, let's just You're in it now. Try this on the side. Here I go. It's probably better for me to just buff people up. You're gonna get stomped. Oh, yeah, can I do this? Come up. Come up. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go. Damn it all. Come on. This is gonna take so long. I'm doing way better than I did my first few tries. Let's see. Um, hopefully, I have some like MP items. I don't actually know if I do. And I didn't save before this, so. Um, I guess it's still this. Like, let's go. You're in it now. Going in. It's coming in. No autosave? I mean, I think there was maybe some autosave, but I just like 
I don't want to like reload my save, you know, without knowing what's going on. This could be good. Right. I didn't do like a lot. Mm. I think I'm gonna actually raise my own defense because like I can save everybody's life. The bat buzzer is actually probably the best thing I got going on. Try and stop me. Let's go. This, this time I did want to be my MP. Come ready now. You want to go? Right now it'll be everyone's MP. I'm not down. Ooh, but he gets to go next, so. Oh, only a hundred? That like wasn't much. I'm not backing down. Okay, and then she can heal everybody. She's gonna need more. Oh no, she can't! <gasps> no. Take your best shot. I don't have like many MP related things, is the thing. Don't get caught. <laughs> You're gonna get stuck. Make a count. You wanna go? Hot better. I'm not back. I'm gonna hit B. Um, alright. I'm up! Let's see. Let's go. Let's see. What is critical? Thought this gear would be good for later when I'm almost out of MP. Um. Honestly, I feel like Batbuster is doing like a lot. Hello? What the fuck? Bro, what? Oh no, the game broke. Y'all, the game froze. Fuck. Get alive. I'm fucked now. It froze. I mean, I think we have to just restart it. Like, huh? let me know if y'all have any suggestion that isn't just restarting it. Dang, you need to see it. I can't even actually hit the home button. Let me unplug the controller and replug it in. Maybe the controller's just not responding. I have been having problems with this controller. Oh, oh, okay. It was the controller. Oh, what? Well, I missed the buff because... Okay. That could have been worse then. Not too bad. Oh my gosh. I gotta... I'm just gonna change the controller then. At this point, because I don't know what's going on with this. Oh no! Oh, this is the old one too. So it uses a different, um... I don't understand why this controller wouldn't be... Let me try to just reset the the old one. I hope this controller isn't broken. This is the one I got with the Series X, but... We'll see what's up.
Hold on. It's very odd. I don't know. This has never happened before. Okay, you either connected or you didn't connect. It's going. It's just like now. It's just like flashing. Hold on. Let me try to sync it or something. What'd you say? Um, I, um, Isaiah kept saying something to me and I didn't know what the fuck he was saying and I muted himself, myself and I was like, what, what are you saying? And he was saying, hello, Mario. <laughs> um, yeah, my controller is being like messed up today. No, I actually, I haven't switched yet. I might just have to, but it's now it's just blinking, like, infinitely. But what sucks is, like, now I have to find a new cable for the old one because it uses micro USB and not USB-C. Have you checked it for an update? Uh, no, I'm not on PC. I'm just on console. I just don't want to get out the other gold cable. All right, well. The micro USB cable. I mean, actually, this might already be connected. This, um, this... You don't need to plug them in. Oh, you're on PC. No, you're no I'm, not, I'm not on PC, but like, okay, here it goes. Um, I just, I got confused. I just had to hit this person. I didn't have a better idea. Um, all right, I'm using the old control, but I, I didn't know if it was charged as a thing. But it turns out it is, so that's cool. Let's just go with this one. It was charged from all of Maggie's uh, Disney Dream My Valleying. Shout out to Disney Dream My Valley. Cool. Take your best shot. You're gonna get Come on now. I'm up. All right, let's I'm do. We finish slash because we can try to inflict bleed. I don't know why he came out of here, actually. Seemed like a bad idea to get out of the, uh... Out of the wrecking ball. Okay, um... So luckily, Psycho's next, so we'll have her... Honestly, I think she'll just increase her defense and she'll, um, heal everybody next turn. Get alive. I mean, he doesn't have any MP. We're definitely gonna need more MP, so I think... Also, what's going on with here? What does he do? Oh yeah. Huh? I mean, he'll be better for when. You wanna go? Maybe like later. Who do I call? Let's see. <gasps> okay. And how much money do I have? Um, also, I could probably use more MP. At least a little bit. And then I'm gonna have her do... her defense up. Hopefully it actually doesn't die, though, in this process. He almost died. He almost died, but he's okay. I'm struggling here. Uh, who's next? Maybe a while till uh, what's her face shows up. Um, I think we might have to just have him heal just to be, just to be safe. I 
Maybe her healing would have been better. Oh man, actually. Shoot. Oh yeah, yeah, she goes next. Great, perfect. Hey Jen, sorry if it's already been asked, but we just want to- Uh, we talked about it a little bit yesterday, but quick thoughts on the Mario movie trailer. Damn, I wanted to hit- I think it didn't work. Um, it was better than I thought it would be. I still don't like Chris Pratt's Mario, but most people don't. Um... Visually, it looks beautiful. Um, I think there's a good chance that it's like a solid time. I'm not expecting this to be like a banger. Like, I'm not expecting this to be like... Coco levels of... You know, depth or something, but... Huh? I think it'll be um, decently enjoyable. So yeah, looking forward to it. I'm definitely not like... Because here's the thing, I know I'm watching it regardless, so part of me was like... I hope this doesn't suck ass, because I know I'm gonna watch it regardless, and I would like to not have a bad time. And I don't think I'll have a bad time, necessarily. It might not be like... a good movie, but... I think it'll still be decent. I didn't watch Sonic, because I don't- I don't care about Sonic like that, like... Would I like it? You already know I hated him in the car. I was playing Sonic today. What, was it Sonic 1? Um, I couldn't go fast, and I just- it made me upset. Let's go. Sonic's a pretty high bar. Yeah, I might check that out at some point. I don't know. I feel like, no offense to Sonic, there's a lot better movies that I still haven't seen. Than some, that's why I don't watch a lot of movies, so... Um, we'll see what's up. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do here? I think let's do... Boundless Cheer. And... Let's buff, um, Adachi. Shoot. At least he's not stunned, so that's good. Oh no! Thank God he snapped out of it. Okay, let's do Bat Buster. I think Bat Buster is secretly like the way to go. It does like pretty solid damage. It doesn't cost that much MP. This will be good once our... Wait, wait. This is dumb, but like I don't know how to do math, so I'm gonna do the math on my phone. <laughs> With 48 minus when we do this... Oh yeah, we'll still have like, duh, 20 and 20. Okay. So do this one more time, and then we'll do Thoughtless Skewer. Because it- you- it's buffed when you have, um... And I think I'm gonna buff him, too. It's buffed when you have lower MP. Okay, we all did a good guard. And now when Psycho goes next, she's gonna heal everybody. Oh shit. Fuck! She died! You fucking bitch! Maybe we can revive her. Make a villain. Yeah, we're gonna revive her. I've actually never used this, I don't think. I should have buffed her defense oh, at some point, actually, now I think about it. Okay, next is the Wrecking Ball? Oh no, next is this dude. Um, this is tough because he's in a bad spot. Like, everyone's in a bad spot, so I don't know what I- what the best thing to do is. I guess we should be... err on the side of being a little conservative. Um... I got this. Mm. It's tough, though, because be there's just, like, a lot of difficult things going on here. I think... Let's give this to our main boy. Thank you. We're still gonna have Psycho revive everybody. Ooh, please don't die, though. Just don't die and you'll be good! Shit. Fuck! Come on, man. Alright. Okay, Psycho's gonna go after him, so that should be okay. Um... We'll do one more Batbuster, and then he has to take, like, an MP thing, because he has, like, no MP left. Okay, Psycho is gonna revive- every fix everybody. Restore all allies ha HP, yep. After that, we're gonna have her buff her defense, because we can't have her dying again. Well, actually, after this, let's have- we need MP recovery. 
Ugh, but what sucks is that there's now... Uh, I guess we'll just wait. I think it's a little risky waiting, but... It doesn't make all my MP stuff is tied to HP, so I would rather have Kasuga at least take some damage before we do that. Um, okay, with response, like, with that response, I need you to play Kingdom Hearts so I can hear you, uh, cursing out Donald Duck. Um, let's see. What do we got? Thoughtless... Yeah, this is it. Oh shit, you can't use this on them! I've been waiting for so long. Well, let's see. What is this move like? Does it do at least 100? 106? It's decent. Damn. Damn, she got stunned. Shit. Mm. Like, eh, you know, it's like whatever. Yeah, she's stunned. She's fucked now. Maybe we can do like a. Let's see. Oh, we can use the first aid kit next time, though. Um, let's just wait. We can always use the first aid kit for her. I think we'll just let her take the L if she needs to. It's a it's a little risky, but I, th I think ultimately we'll be okay. We gotta make sure this dude lives. But you know what? Now is a good time to use the ones that are like MP and HP. What's the highest MP HP one I have? Oh, I don't have like a great one actually. Damn. Okay. I thought I had a good like MP HP situation. Well, at this point then, we're just gonna have to revive his MP. I mean his HP and then just... Because if he dies, we like lose everything. Okay, then for her, where are we at? Um, honestly, I think just buffing her defense might be the next move. Because we can revive her if she dies with half her HP. So I think that could be okay. Let's go. But also, then we're like wasting stuff. Maybe let's just restore her HP for now, I think. And we'll see what goes on with Dodachi. He's the only one that's like weakened right now. I think he's, you know, he's he's doing okay. I just hate that it comes back and you can't block from behind you. Uh, how do you feel with the booster? I feel good. I feel fine. Um, I was lucky. I didn't really get any side effects at all. Maybe I'm a little more tired. My arm hurts. That's my number one beef. Like my arm is a little bit more sore than normal. I don't think I moved it enough the first day. Okay. So what do we got here? So let's think. We don't have much MP. We don't have really any MP for him. Huh? Oh yeah, the arm moves. But um, but now it just hurts. Like I think I think the time to like avoid the pain has passed. Unfortunately. Okay, so the wrecking ball is next after, which kind of sucks. But with that being said, we know we probably will take damage. So I'm gonna go with the items. And I'm gonna do one of those whack like MP HP ones. That at least gives me a little something. That's officer ice cream, I think. Hmm. So just that he has like a little bit of something. LOL. It has, but it can get worse. Really? How bad can this get? Like. Ugh. Right. Okay. So now with her, I'm gonna say we buff her defense. Real quick. And then maybe next turn we have her heal everybody because everyone's still doing actually pretty good health wise. Adachi's still stunned, so like, you know, fuck him. Finally, snapped out of it, thank god. With his no MP, so like, what is he really gonna do at the end of the day? Not much. So yeah, we're gonna have her heal everyone next turn, which she comes up right now. Restore all allies HP. I got 
Oh, yeah. Yep. Give it your all, everyone. As long as you're not babying your arm, it shouldn't. Okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm living my life like pretty much like normal. Come on. Other than I'm, I'm trying not to like sleep on it, like lay on it or anything like that. You're gonna get I mean, I guess at this point we're just gonna like. Like that wasn't really anything, but like I feel like it's it is technically better than nothing. Like I don't know. Okay, not terrible. It actually got like the brunt of that. So I think balance cheer for him. And then we're gonna have a Dachi try to do a whack HP MP item because he just doesn't have anything going for him. And it's pretty rough. Ooh, she's stunned though. That sucks. Okay. Do you have any MP HP situations? We don't. Do we have any whack MP at least? Yeah, let's have him eat this mysterious fruit. And then we'll have Psycho revive and restore everyone's health when we can, but it might take a second because she's stunned now and. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Okay, next. She is still stunned, which is unfortunate. She's also going to get hit real bad here, but she did snap out of it. So now next time she goes... Damn, she got stunned again? From how are you going to snap out of it and then get stunned immediately after? Like, what's up with that? Um... Just because she's been stunned for a while. Let's just go ahead and like give him some healing because like he's the main hero and if he dies we're fucked, which I think is still stupid, but whatever. That is how it is. Like if she does, we can always use that um the first aid kit on her if we need to. Which we might need to, because she might die right now. She's Oh, he he died first? You're whack. Okay, he definitely needs, like... Yeah, we're just gonna get 500 HP. We're not gonna play any games. So she's still stunned. She's dead. She's dead for sure. Yep. Yep. Shoot, why does it get to keep going so many times? Don't tell me you're next again. How are you next again? Come on now. Come on now. What's up, Robbie? How's it going? Finally, okay, so it is unfortunate that he's pretty weakened, but we are gonna need to Roll the dice here a little bit and use that first aid kit to bring back psycho Fuck. Okay, so we got the garden don't let it go again because I swear to god. I'm gonna start screaming. This is bullshit This is bullshit. Are you seeing this shit? This is why does it get to go so many times? Okay, well, he has to just, you know, we can't have him die because everything's over if he dies, so. Like, finally she's here and she's good. Thank God, girl. What? Sh kill your own wounds. And then we'll bring back Adachi if we can. Um, I did not hit level 25, but I got really close. Shoot, Kasuga stunned. Is everybody else stunned too? Is he still stunned? You fucking bitch. You fucking piece of shit. What kind of bullshit is this? If the crane goes again, I'm a I'm a fight this crane in real life. Okay. So now we have to use another like high M do I, what's the highest HP that we have? I think we just have Ooh, 100 for the entire party. That's nice, but to be honest, that's not going to do much for us. 400. Use this. Um, I think I'm level 25 now, but I wasn't I wasn't before I started the fight. Finally snapped out of it. Finally snapped out of it. Thank God. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to still use a stupid item. Let's use this legendary first stage kit. To just totally bring back Adachi in full, even though it's like 
He ain't even that valuable like that, but at least it like we get more people on the ground doing some work. She doesn't have enough MP to really do anything at this point, so we're gonna need what's the most MP I can get back. Oh, almost none. Oh, 200 MP? Yeah, that's going that's going all to Psycho. Damn, knocked her out. But we can bring her back. But also, we haven't been able to do fucking any damage the last like 10 minutes, and this is bullshit. This is bullshit. And like, honestly, I find this 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 to just be a little bit annoying because I feel like I can't even like I'm so hurt I cannot even play at this point. Fallen half eight. We have 200 HP. I think this is our last like solid one. Okay. Oh my god. Please let him still do something. Thank. God, please tell me you're not stunned. Fucking you fucking bitch ass bitch. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Bring back my healer. Okay, he's gonna have to bring back the healer because I regret using that um that item on what's his face because he sucks, but Okay. Where is it at? I know I have a um another health kit. Do I not have another health kit? I thought I did. Fuck. Another revive kit? Shit, that sucks. Oh, we're fucked now. We're really fucked now. Do we really not have another- I thought I had another kit. Because I wouldn't have done this if I knew I didn't have another kit. Ooh, I don't think we have another kit. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Revives a ally with half their HP. Thank God. And then he keeps doing this fucking drop, man. And I swear to god, this this Pick thing up. has gotten like eight turns. I'm not backing down. Okay, unfortunately the wrecking ball is the next one up, so I think I gotta I gotta just try to heal him a little bit because You're gonna get Like, if he dies, we're just fucked. And I just think that's bullshit, but that's how the game works, so it is what it is. See, and he was gonna die anyway, so it's like, what, you know, whatever. Thank God she's next, at least. I think I can finally do an attack, because she's gonna... Is she stunned, though? <sighs> Fuck, I don't know if she's stunned or not. She looks fine, she's, like, walking around. If she's stunned, I'm gonna be so fucked. No, she's good, she's good. Good job. Yeah, Tender Straw allies, you know, Adachi was cool, but like, it's over. If we get a chance, I think we do have another kit, maybe we'll use it on him, but like, to be honest, I think it's just gonna be just us two together, you know? Like, just us against the world at this point, cause... Look, it's not it's not the time for jokes. All right, it's just, it's it's crunch time here. If the game was too um, fucking dumb to make it so that you could automatically have that party member, if you have to do it on the side, I don't count it for the main. I just don't. This was designed where you only had three people. This was that is fact. If you mainline, that is fucking fact. Um, and I'm not even mainlining, so like, you know, no comment there, but, okay. It's all good. We're gonna be able to do it now, because we have Psycho, and that's all we- that's all we really need at the end of the day. Like, it don't really matter. We ain't gonna even bring back Adachi. Like, he's- he's down for the count. It's over. Yeah, it's fine. He's- he used to be a cop anyway, so it's like... Yeah, I know. It'd be your favorites. It'd be your own people. Um, okay, he's stunned. The problem is if both of them become stunned, we're kind of fucked. So, that's the only thing. 
I guess I will. I think I will bring him back because we just need we just need another body on the floor. Um, where's this little uh, kit we got? Where's a little health kit? What's up, uh, Queen of Cast? Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Hey, Jan, popping in a sandwich. I enjoy your contributions to Min Max and belated cuts in the Xbox collab. Um, yeah, man, we're out here playing on Xbox right now. Let's go. Shout out to Game Pass. Negative shout out to my controller not connecting, but okay, we're bringing this guy back. Because once we do the full revives too, like the full heals, he'll be like really doing well in this mix. But for right now, if he dies here though, if I brought him back just for him to die, I will start screaming probably is the thing. See, she's fucking lowered though. I need to put the anti-stun. She needs to be wearing that anti-stun bracelet all the time is the thing. She's next up though, so that's good. And I don't think she's stunned. She's standing, she's, she's living, she's thriving, you know? Um, what should he do? I think he can just do a regular, regular attack because I don't think it's time to use an item right now. Though it might be soon, I don't know. Oh my god, this did it. This did it. Look at that. Fucking second attempt. And I would have gotten the first if I didn't accidentally press the wrong fucking button and heal the wrong person. If I didn't heal um, Psycho with when she had 100% HP, we would have won that first one. So boom, there you go. That's going up. Level 26. Finally level 25. There we go. And that's why we didn't do the fucking business shit, okay? Do I look like a business bitch to you? I don't fucking think so. Why can't you just stay in one fucking place? It was designed for three characters. You can get a fourth, but it was designed for three. But yeah, well, what the hell? hopefully it's over after it this, because I'm not trying to, like, wrong with this piece of score shit? up against, like, eight low-level enemies after juice. this. Let's have some pancakes! <laughs> Sancho! Sancho! <laughs> My condolences to the recently squished. It's kind of a damn shame to Thank have you to for the congratulations. Thank you for the props. She I appreciate it. It was it, this was a hard ass fucking battle. <laughs> huh? This damn thing's stuck. Good thing we had a lot of good items. Those uh, first aid kits were a big deal. Let's get the hell out of here. That dude was into you. Why do you always attract the weirdos? Shut up. I don't really want to think about it. Hey! <laughs> What's happening over there? You got pancakes or not? Clear that rubble and let's find out. Yeah, we don't need to debase ourselves by doing this business minigame that sucks ass. No one has told me it's fun. One one person in this entire series has been like, I had fun doing the business game. Everyone else hated it. Everyone else had to use a guide. It's not good. You get good stuff out of it, but it itself is not good. It is not fun. It is the weakest part of this game. Um, the business witch. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Kelly Kapoor, the business bitch. Um... Alright, of course I know how to pick him. He's not the only one. He's got yeah. three. Three? Yeah. First you got Ishioda, the guy we just saw. But he's always been kind of uh, unpredictable, which works in his favor. Where it is even Kansai, he was pretty reckless and the higher ups had a tough time keeping him in line. I could see that. Loose can or not, he's actually pretty on his game. When the Omi Alliance moved into Komorocho, Ishioda was the guy on the front lines. Got it. The other two yep. lieutenants? You know one of them pretty well. Joe Sawashiro. Yes, much better. <laughs> Captain Sawashiro. Uh, Sawashiro's been Arakawa's right hand, right hand man for a long time, so he was an easy pick for a lieutenant. And there's the third guy, Tendo or Tindo. He's actually a former boxer. I'd guess a heavyweight considering he's built like a bull. Ah. So now we're on to the, is this the structure of the final things? Ishioda, Sawashiro, and Tendo, or Tindo? Tendo? Captain Three Tents, everyone's <laughs> bad news. I bet Arakawa-san's the only one who can keep them in line. 
As a woman, I really don't like the word bitch. Yeah, that's, that is fair. Um, I'm down for the word bitch. I say the word bitch a lot, but I totally get people not liking that and finding it to be very um, negatively charged. So, totally understand that. Um, so you're just gonna creep on us now or what? Oh, I'm sorry. Where were you not coming to help us? Uh, Zhao from Liu Mong seemed to think you were. Oh. We're only doing it for uh, Nanba, not you guys. But there's a massive crew of Omi blocking the way. No way we're getting through there. Well, seeing your earlier fight, I've come to a decision. What do you mean by that? We would like to present you with a gift. It's something very precious, in fact. Is it another um, healing kit? Because I need more. I used all of them. That's the right way of putting it. It's been too negatively charged. Yeah, I definitely think too. Well, let me finish reading this first. We would like your assistance, even if it comes at a great cost. We hope this conveys our sincerity to you. Though I wouldn't say it has any real cash value. You're just talking in circles at this point, dude. I'd like you to head to Yak. <laughs> I feel like I'm reading in slow motion. Yakaniku restaurant called Io Mani's Vow as quickly as you can. I'll let the employees know hey. you're coming. Look, can you tell me what you're about? What you're on about first? Io Mioni means mother in Korean. Goodbye. Damn. I don't get it, that freaking guy. What do he say? He says he wants to give us a gift. Is now really the time for this crack? It's a shame that the hot ones always seem to snap. I just wish he wouldn't wrap everything he wants to tell us in a goddamn riddle. A Yakuniku restaurant named Iomi Mioni's Vow? I guess we'll have to check it out. Not the mommy gift. Oh my gosh. So even when people say it in a joking way or try to use it, um, I can't get past my previous experiences. For sure. And it's like, um, I think too, that's why a lot of times, like in games, especially too, you do see it used in like a very slur like capacity um i've noticed too like for that reason i think a lot of men don't tend to have that as part of their colloquial um profanity which is cool i think that's a probably a probably a good move um like i'll say bitch all the time on like ps i love you but i don't, I don't think like blessing or greg have ever called me a bitch um for that reason i think um mm -hmm. that's just not how they tend to talk um and i imagine a lot of dudes do that Somewhat intentionally, um, which is probably for the, the I think the smartest route if you're like not a woman. Um, definitely think you know there's a the great debate on can you reclaim things, and I don't think you fully can. But I also think like if you want to use words and you're part of those groups, that's that's on you, and that's your own little decision to be made. Okay, where are we at? We need so many heals. Let's go. Let's go around the long way and heal first. Because I don't want to deal with this without healing. Wait, can I not? Do they lock me in here? Let me try to go out. Shoot. How do I get out of here? Get me out of here. Okay, here we go. I just tuned in. How was the crane fight? The crane fight was a pain in the ass. Um, it was hard. I did it on my second attempt, though, which I'm very proud of. I did burn through a lot of good items doing so. But I got it done. So shout out to that. And I feel like I would have done it on the first try, but I made an error. Ooh, I'm running as fast as I can. Oh, um, I made an error where I ended up healing the wrong person. Like I wanted to heal like Kastuga with Psycho and I healed Psycho by accident even though Psycho had full health. Um, it's a tough fight, but Jen killed it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was really tough. I was, um... I was losing my mind at a certain point in that fight. Not gonna lie. It was about to break me, because I did end up in... I think anyone that's done challenging... Or, or... It doesn't even have to inherently be challenging, but anyone who has felt challenged in a turn-based game knows the struggle of, like... Constantly like healing or bringing out like different party members just for them to like immediately die and you end up stuck in this like Sisyphinian like Sisyphus like cycle of Healing and dying and reviving and healing just to die and revive and where you're not really progressing the fight um, So that's definitely something that happened to me in this battle towards the end and it was really frustrating In that I was so close. Let, let me hide in this bathroom while these people walk by I was so close to being done, like, it was down to, like, one 
30th of health, but I just could not do it. On your tweet notification of the stream, I put a step-by-step -step video on the business sim if you ever want to do it. Uh, notification on my tweet. Oh, my tweet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'll be honest, y'all. I'm... I have now made it a point of pride to not do this business in. I just don't like it, you know? And I think at the end of the day, it's not something that I'm willing to get good at at this point. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe things can change. But I, I don't think so. I think I'm just leaving it alone. If I was going for maybe like a platinum or something, I might. Um, and I appreciate the support of being down to help me do it. But I, I'm like, you know what? I think Joe nailed it when he was like, well, if you don't want to do it, if you don't think it's fun, don't bother doing it. And I'm, I think that's what I'm going to stick to. Even though it would be really fun to um, get whoever the next character is. Like everyone says they're really cool, but I'm like, you know what? If they were that cool, they should have baked that into the main line. They did not. It is what it is. Um, but I do like how generally when you play more of the side stuff, you end up getting like extra stuff like the fact that I now have like more like uh pound mates people to call and got like Nancy the crab and it's cool so just make sure you're saving your money I'm being incredibly cheap with my money and my only sadness financially is that I did not realize that you could put your money into a bank until literally this week because I lost a lot of money from dying here and there and I haven't died too often in this game but when you die, it's like you lose like half your money. So when I lost half of like a hundred thousand, it was like kind of significant. Um, okay, so let's run over here, and then I'm gonna go to the bank, and then I think I'm gonna take a break because we'll be actually we're past the two hour. Are we past the two hour? One, two, three. No, we're like gonna be at the two hour basically, near the two hour around three. So it's a it's a perfect time to stop. Sorry, I'm gonna have to just beam through through you, sir. Like I haven't bought like any upgrades and stuff. Um, I do wonder if I should buy though. I mean, let's get like that might have been the amount I took out, but I I kind of want to buy some like healing items or something at least. Is 300 HP really enough? Also, this one's gonna be a big deal. Let me drop like a little bit more money on some stuff. So far, I haven't really bought items. Um, this is actually my first time, I think, buying items outside of the uh, when I bought the napkins for the quest of the guy who kept needing to get help in the bathroom. We'll take 50k and go do a little shopping. I've actually just found a lot of my items, which has been convenient as someone who's very cheap. And the only stuff I bought is like early on, they like require you to buy some gear and I bought some gear from that. But other than that, I've just been finding stuff. Um, so now I want to just buy just a couple like, and then maybe just some general MP stuff. I think that's actually pretty good. I guess maybe like two more stamina lights just to have them, but okay, let's just deposit the rest of it. Well, we'll deposit like 15 and then I'll take the rest for actually deposit a little bit more. And then I'll just keep this on me for like cab fare. Let me hang out in here real quick, though, for a second. Let me make sure I don't have any things to report. No, okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and save. Still on chapter nine. Hopefully we get to chapter 10 today. That would be cool. Um, all right. Fair enough, just make sure you have money. Uh, the ability you get from it and all the money you get is the main reason to grind it out. Um, if you want to upgrade weapons and gear, it's really the only way to generate that type of money, and you know the other money thing that I won't say about. Um, so yeah, alright. Um, same dude kicked my ass. I also finished Up Like a Dragon last week, so I'm excited to watch. Oh, congratulations on rolling credits. I made it through the mainline plus judgment over the last two years, and guys, Yakuza is pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a fun time. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and um, still let me know what y'all's opinion is on the jobs. Um, 
I know in the past you guys have mentioned something about like switching jobs. You can level the job faster and get like a permanent buff or something or other. Let me know what your opinion is. I actually really like my job, so I'm kind of tempted just to stay with what I have. But let me know what you think the benefits are and when I should do that. When that first came up in the chat, people were like, oh, but wait to do that until later. Is later like around now? Like when would that be? Ultimately, I think it's fine either way. Ooh, Dylan Perry, rating with party 26. You know what? I'm going to hang out then for a little bit longer. I was going to do my break. I'll still do my break, but we'll wait a little bit while uh, people come in from the raid and hang out. Uh, thank you, Dylan. Let me go ahead and do a shout out real fast. Um, but welcome in Raiders. My name is Jen Garcia, aka Game Onesis. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. Um, I am decently into Yakuza like, Yakuza like a dragon right now. So on the off chance that you don't want spoilers, um, but are still interested in the stream, go ahead and drop me a follow and stay tuned for the stuff I play next because I'm usually bouncing around to different games. Um, I don't do a lot of full let's plays, but I do a couple. How was Skyrim? Um, I've actually never played Skyrim. That is definitely on my list for my top 100 games project of playing some of the, the best games ever. Um, but how was it? I imagine this was a replay for you because I feel like everyone in the world but me has played Skyrim. But how's it going? Um, we are currently on, and again, I, I gave my uh, spoiler warning, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about where we are. Um, we are currently on chapter 9 of, I believe, 14 chapters in Yakuza Like a Dragon. We're 36 hours in, um, and we've done mostly just mainline stuff, but I've done, I think, a decent chunk of the side quests, to be honest. Scum's so alright, just playing with mods. Nice! Um, I actually don't think I've ever played a game with a mod, which is kind of weird. I should probably do that at some point. Um, I tried adding a mod to Minecraft that let me like have a map, but I don't think I ever actually succeeded in getting that to work. So there's that. Where is the nearest taxi cab? That's odd. Where are all the where are all the taxis at? Hmm. Am I like? I mean, I guess we're not that far away, actually. We'll probably just walk there. Um, me neither. Mods are for PC players, and I've never really done the whole. Yeah, I've never done the whole PC thing really either. So I just haven't had a lot of opportunities to do mods, except for Minecraft. I was um, I was playing in Play Jason server, which was kind of cool. It was I didn't do much. Um, that's good to hear. They added in dating through the season pass, which is lame. Uh, the Lost Judgment thing, yeah. In general, I heard the DLC for some of the Yakuza stuff was not very good. Um, I understand why I'm all the time and it's still terrifying. Yeah, like the process of it. Like, I was like, uh, what am I installing? What am I downloading? Are they gonna take my identity? Like, what's going on? Um, it's a lot. In general, PC stuff is kind of involved. Yeah, we'll play for a smidge longer before we take our, um, halfway point break. Which also, hold on. Which, wh where? Oh, it's like some restaurant or something? Is it not this one? Oh, yes it is. Okay. Welcome. Hey, uh, we actually ain't here for a meal. Huh? Hmm. Spooky. Heads up, I would save here. I didn't save until this started. Like, this thing's a little bit delayed. But I did save before this, so I think I'm okay. Like, I saved when we were in the grocery store, like, a few minutes ago. So we should be okay. Oh, now it lets me save here as well, so that's nice. But thank you for the heads up. This way, please. Mm -hmm. What the... So I know your official title is Lord of Holidays, but I feel like you represent your Halloween representation during the stream. You're entitled to claim it from the lowly co consorts of the title. Um, I agree. I feel like I'm pretty festive with Halloween. Uh, do you not tell a soul what you are about to see in here? Is that clear? I mean, I'm never really going to be able to th dethrone Greg in a popularity contest because I don't think I could ever win a popularity contest against Greg Miller <laughs> because it's Greg. Um, but I appreciate the support. Through this passage is the Coma Jewels underground <gasps> resent. Residential district. What? what? If he had passed it, why didn't he tell us sooner? But no, he figured he'd wait until after we fought a fucking yeah. crane. For real. 
This passage is a secret we've guarded with our lives. I mean, sure, but still. If anyone found this passage, it would reveal a fatal weakness for the coma jewel. I hope you understand the significance of our sharing it with you. Well, that explains why Jonji Han called it a gift, I guess. Do you understand the weight now? Yeah, I'll make sure nobody finds out. Thanks. I could hardly believe my ears when the call came in. I never thought the day would come when we tell an outsider about this passage. <laughs> so if Jun Ji Han is giving you this, he must have faith in your skills. Faith, huh? For all we know, this road goes straight to hell. Well, I think it was a nice gesture. I guess we just gotta get pumped and go through here to save the Coma Jewel. When Zhao's got to come through and spare Namba. Here we go. Well done, Kasuga-san. But I'm afraid time is of the essence. Why? Yes. Is it pretty bad? The barricade just fell. The Omi Alliance has begun their invasion of Koma Jewel. Yo. What's uh, Song Hui doing? He's trying to reach Yutaka... Oga Kubo and what happens if she does that would be up to Oga Kubo I can't say for sure wow never seen you this tense gets pretty serious I think he's cuter this way <laughs> I love that she like loves this man don't tease him after he trusted us with his super secret passage we're glad you did that are you just be aware I considered all the risks before doing so huh if you betray us and try to run you will die by my hand <sighs> I changed my mind. He's not cute. Oh, she's so... I love her. She's my favorite. Psycho's the best. And she's carrying this team with her healing. Not gonna front. Yes, How sir, she stands on these grates, I don't understand. Well, really yes, sir. I see, oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> There's voice acting here. Then we'll comply. I know you don't have too many options right now. What did Ogikubo say? Kasuga, will you lend us a hand? We only have about two minutes before the Omi arrive. That's not enough time to burn all the evidence of counterfeiting. Wait, you're going to burn it all? Yes, Ogikubo ordered us to pull the plug. Yeah, you're not the first person to say that. Um, I just prefer not having to read everything, so that's why I like the English dub. But I've never heard um, the Japanese VO either, so... But yeah, it is funny for people that have never heard it or are like, oh my god. <laughs> there will be no more fake currency made in Ijinjo. None of us realized how serious the Omi Alliance was about destroying the Great Wall. <sighs> that failure is on us. <sighs> mm. Shutting it down won't be enough. That would allow evidence of Okikubo's involvement to survive. We need to burn it all. That's my decision. Junki Han, see that a healthy fire gets started. Songwei, that will burn down our entire surveillance system, as well as our home, the only safe haven for us in this world. Everyone living here depends on it. I know. I'm aware of the consequences. Ah, then please forgive me for questioning you. You're really going to burn it all down to save Ogikubo? Even if it costs you everything? Ogikubo was the only one who ever gave a shit about us. He carved us out a home. It wasn't perfect, but we owe him so much. I'm doing this to pay back our debt to him. I wouldn't even call it a true sacrifice. Most people would call it arson. You want us to help you? Not with the burning. I just need you to stall the Omni Alliance. Keep them here, at this spot. It won't be for long. We just need enough time to get the fire going. <sighs> I don't know. Please, we need you. Songui, please, don't. Yeah, enough already. Stand up straight. Huh. To be honest, I never really liked you. And I hope you realize we don't owe Ogikubo shit. But a woman as proud as her doesn't bow without a hell of a good reason. <laughs> Ooh. She's finally speaking from the heart. 
This is as real as it gets. Do you understand? Uh, I do now. Sorry. I'm kind of dense when it comes to women. Not me. I'm good in that area, in case anybody was wondering. So you'll help? You'll stall them? Yep, we're doing this. Psycho-san. Yeah? <sighs> Thank you. All right, okay. Now this is a good time to take a break. Um, again, I'm gonna be live for at least like, probably like two more hours, plus or minus, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're here playing Yakuza Like a Dragon and I think after like whatever this section is, I assume chapter 10 would start. Uh, so fingers crossed that we can get to chapter 10 before the stream is done and Yakuza Week is done. Again, there are 14 chapters, so we've made a really good dent um, this week and we'll continue to do so later on today. Um, but for now, um, enjoy the chair stream and the song Shub as composed by my brother and I will be back in five minutes plus or minus. So just hang tight. Thanks.
Alright. We also like retweet the stream. Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Get a little bit of water in here. Um, okay. Also, how much stuff can I hold? Because I'm almost out of like everything. I feel like this isn't anything, but when we cook these, there'll be something. We can keep the mysterious fruit. need all this. There's so much stuff I have. Oh my gosh. Can I just move like all materials? Like, I don't need all these materials on me at all times, you know? Slowly just moving these over. <laughs> I have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just, just moving these over. I suppose I haven't maxed out any of my, like, space with all the stuff I have. One thing I like is I haven't really felt the need to move my stuff to my item box. I just figured, like, well, why do I have all these materials on me at all times? Like, I don't need to have all these materials on me at all times. They're just for crafting. Like, I don't need to be carrying this around. Maybe the bugs I should keep? Now I think about it, but I might, move, I might move the bugs back actually. Even though I don't think they're gonna come out come up during this time. And then weapons. Can I sell like some of this gear that I'm not using? Oh, with these freaking things though, hold on. Let me put my bugs back. Well, what are the bugs for? Someone let me know what the bugs are for. I'll leave them in the bin for now. But I actually did want to change some gear stuff because... Oh, did you not do the business management? To get, no, I did not. <laughs> it's funny, I know it says first time chat, so I don't know if you've... I mean, it doesn't mean that you haven't been watching the stream for a while. But um, yeah, no, it's been a big conversation point of like, hmm, you should do... And everyone says yeah, you should do these benefits, but it's just like, I just don't like it. I don't like the process of it, you know? Um, so there's something that stops you from getting like stunned or some shit that I want to check out. It's called, it's like some type of ring, not a health ring. Not this one. Maybe it's not a ring, maybe I'm making this up. I feel like I saw this. Cotton gloves, work gloves. 
Oh, wait, there it goes. Okay. Unable to be affected by stun. Honestly, I'm gonna put she gonna get that because she's the MVP of our team. I will say with the earrings, because I got that other set of earrings, that could be good. Oh, that ups your healing though. You know what? I should put the earrings on her instead of the designer. It's like this the pearl is a little better than the designer earring, so we'll do that. Um, but no, I just didn't find it fun, so I'm like, I don't- I did try it for a little while, and it- funnily enough, like, before everyone was like, you know, you should do the thing, because you get a lot of money, and you get, like, X, Y, and Z. Before all of that, I did actually play for, like, an hour or something Yo. of trying it out, and I just couldn't figure out what I was doing. Um... You know, I did try to get better, he has cars to play, not much other choice. I know, oh well, they'll be here any minute. You ready? I'm ready, let's go. I'm ready, Freddy. Here they are. But I've bought almost they nothing this whole ready. game, so I feel like I've been pretty cheap. And that's it's been fine. Yeah, maybe for the next Yakuza game. I won't be struggling so bad with all of that, but do 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 you guys aren't dead. Guys aren't dead? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't you be splattered on a wrecking ball? Nope. Lucky you. You get to fight us again. It's just crazy you're still alive. Me? Yeah. Think about it. First, you were shot by Captain Arakawa. Isn't that right? None of your. Oh business. yeah, for sure. Um. Well, the next one that's coming by out. Counts. You should be dead. Well, there's like the two, right? There's um. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting the name. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The one that's like Fuel Japan, and then the, there's the new one that's gonna come out after that that we've barely seen. So I think I'll save that instead of going back to the older ones. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait for the new. And I'll go back to the older ones like that's way later sense. if I decide to. What do you mean by all accounts? I heard Arakawa had his own men dispose of your body. Oh, thanks for the Bidoof hat redemption. Next time I see him, I should ask him why you're still alive. We're gonna see if we can well, stack him. Why you were alive. Oh, Solarisan, the printer's in there. They're trying to burn the evidence. Ishiro-san. <laughs> no wonder there were hardly any Komi Jewel guards. They were all busy barbecuing. This fight, yeah, this. that's interesting. We'll see how it goes. Me too. Ichiban, move. This hat's really good for doing? stacking, we're honestly. We're about to lose all the evidence. Nobody's getting past me. Sorry, but I made a promise to Songhui. You did it's what? so cute. Swore to her this is actually looks adorable. I mean, the hat the joint. got a little flattened. Nama, this is for your sake too. Because it isn't. This is an actual like Ichiban. normal head. Hurry up and take them out. This time, I'll make sure you die. Let's see if we can get, get the. Hey, wait, hold on. Fuck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. Here we go. Okay. Take oh shit, we're fighting Nanba? Former friend. Rip. Well, that's awkward. For a second, I, I was confused. I was like, oh, he's with us again. No, he's not. Well, he's not a musician anymore, so he's not really gonna do the damage he used to. Honestly, this would be so funny if this works. It should. He should be, like, very susceptible to this. Yes. Oh, he's been charmed by Psycho, so this is, like, absolutely. There's that little bit. Okay, then we'll do... Okay, we couldn't hit that guy that had fallen down. Oh snap! Shoot, he's almost dead. I mean, just a little something for him would be good. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Great. Now she can. Oh no no! Okay, thank God. So she can heal him though. Restore in allies health. Him, yeah. Try this on the side. I got this. Okay, so next. 
Ooh, should Jam play one of the Judgment games? Should I play one of the Judgment games? And Jiggy Ball says, yes, exciting. And egg is spelled E-G-G dash sighting. Exciting. Also, let me put the timer on for the, for the Bidoof hat. I forgot to. 15 minutes of the Bidoof hat. Okay. I'm not that also, we have that Poundmates free call, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just watch the animation. I usually watch the animation the first time I call them. It's our motorcycle pals. Because the first one's free. The controller's shaking like crazy from this. Oh, he missed like most people though. Um, all right, let's see. What do we got going on here? I'm not down. Phoenix Slash on this guy. Ooh, he, don't block me, don't block me. Great. Oof. Okay, thank God. She's here. We're gonna heal everybody. We're still all eyes HP. Um, yeah, here and there. Um, I thought it was better than I expected. I was not a fan of Mario's Chris Pratt, but I kind of knew. Or Mario's Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt's Mario. I would love to hear Mario's Chris Pratt, actually. I think that would be hilarious. Um, let's see. Let's do Batbuster for that guy who's, like, pretty weak already. Um... And it's funny because I was telling like Isaiah, I'm like, well, it's not great, but I knew it wouldn't be good like that because like, what are you gonna do? Like, you can't do Mario's actual voice because it's like that very stereotypical like Italian accent. And then any other voice is gonna feel weird because we know what Mario sounds like. But then I heard that French dub, and it was so good that I'm like, yeah, I guess we, I guess it could have been done. I guess it could have been done. Um. Let's go. Let's do this because it might also inflict bleed. Great. Right. And then I've been wanting her to get to go because she can do smash step and maybe charm somebody. I don't know if they can have three status conditions at once, though. Admittedly. Let's just try bat breaker because it maybe do a little bit more damage. This guy's been alive for like the longest time. I'm not backing down. I'm up. I'm gonna strap your slash to try to see if we can inflict bleed on this guy. And then we'll have Psycho heal everybody in a second. Ooh. Oh no! Well, I wasn't expecting that to be able to happen. Shoot, he came back. We're gonna do this and then maybe Kasuga can bring back Adachi. Friends, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh! Damn it! That sucked. Damn it. Let's retry a full recovery because it 
it's not that much more expensive. As many times as it takes. Don't get in my way. Oh, fucking creepy shit. Right. Okay, so let's try to be a little bit less cheap. Try this on the side. With the MP. Great. But this isn't gonna last forever on non-bus. We gotta move quick. Except because they're all like spread out. Get closer. This will be good. Okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. <laughs> Let's go. It's tough because I feel like he might die also. Does he have anything that can Let's heal himself? Go. No. Ugh, you suck. Okay. Let's just do... Oh, Desperate Throw, though, has recoil. Let's do this one. And hope this is enough to do something. This fight was the first big difficult wall for me. There's definitely a lot of challenge here. Gosh. Shoot. Oh god, please. Okay, so luckily she can heal everybody. Okay, and now he can do... Let's do... Honestly, let's do Mega Swing again, but just on this guy. Well, Mega Swing for the first time. The fact that this guy has, like, a fucking gun is, like, a little too much. Shoot. Okay, Nama's next, which, luckily, he is probably not gonna do anything. I hope this is enough to kill him. Oh, it's almost enough to kill him, but not quite. Okay, restore or not an ally, restore all allies. Okay, unfortunately we're just gonna waste our turn on this guy because we just can't have so many enemies attacking us, like Okay, so now let's Honestly, I think let's just do desperate throw on this guy. And there is a little bit of recoil damage. Finally, a perfect guard. Restore all allies HP, yeah. Okay, so now we really need to get rid of this guy. Again, we can't have so many enemies attacking us. This is too much. Great, finally. Shoot. Alright, uh... You all look great. It's tough. Okay, use this command, which may leave them enraged. Leave enemy afraid. It's tough because like who should we work on next? Let's go. Both him and Namba are pretty powerful, so let's just work on this guy. We'll try to charm this guy next. I don't think we're gonna be able to. Shoot the counter. Damn it. We got a couple perfect cards in. Yeah, we just gotta keep using her to heal, so it's like I feel like this guy's the most dangerous. You're gonna be in a world. So let's just try to get after this guy. It's tough too because they're 27 and I'm level 25. Like, You're gonna get this is gonna be a rough go. Okay, um. Going in. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. 
Thanks for the follow. Nice. Right. Okay, she, we're gonna have to get her and her MP back soon. Give it up already. I feel like this actually isn't doing like ridiculous damage I hoped it would. What does this do? Well, I didn't do like much either. Amba's next. Oh, this is a risk, kind of risky, but this is the recoil damage. The counter, shoot. I really tried hitting block and it just never blocked. Oh no, because she doesn't have anything left. Y'all are right, man. This this part is rough. Okay, I gotta think of something here. I mean. We are going to have to use an HP MP thing on Kasuga because if Kasuga dies, everything's over. Kasuga. And then we'll have to. Oh, God. They barely gave me AMP, though, to be honest. And then we gotta get her MP back, too. Boost damage. You gonna have the money for this? Kind of. Ugh. I mean, give it up already. We really need her stuff, her MP back. Do you have an MP only thing? Take your best shot. I'm not backing down. There she is. Take it. Thank We're you. gonna need her MP. We're gonna need her to heal everybody. Let's go. Give it up. Thank God. I'm struggling here. Okay. Next is Nanba, and he's not gonna make it, so we're gonna need him to heal something, because he's not gonna make it. Ooh, should we be cheap? No, we shouldn't be cheap. Let's give him, like, a 150. God damn it. At least we guarded, we guarded against a couple of them, so it could've been worse. Okay, restore everybody's HP. And now it's that fucking strong ass dude. Oh no, here we go. We can call pound mates now at least. So let's let's call Nancy and see if this helps. Do they have and they can lower the uh I do, but like Actually lower the enemy's friends, I have to check. It's just tough, because that's really not gonna help that much, to be honest. Like I just haven't been able to get any damage in. So we're gonna see if this can Again, we're underleveled, so it's like... That's something else that, again, I don't like about the game. They don't give you any indication on what level you need to be for anything before you, like, do it. Um, which I feel like is kind of odd. Um, okay, so... Let's think about some things now. So we're still going after... Honestly, we should maybe just go after Nanba, because even though the other guy's stronger... I heard that Namba's here is like a pain in the ass, so. What's that one's doing on health? Health is, is okay, it could be better. What's the spin one? Breaking top, right? And he has poison, like now's the time to like get at him a little bit. Um, who's next? Is that fucking good ass guy? Oh no, no, it's me next. Great. Come on. Let's go. 
Luckily, some of that misses, at least. Huh? Damn, these flames. At least I got one perfect garden. Again, it's a little bit extra, because it's like, mm, she's never been hurt even, but... We need to get what we can in here. All right. Ooh, okay. Okay, so now it's him. And after that, it's what's his face. Oh, we're down to low MP, so this should do more damage than usual. Damn. Oh, and then hopefully he can make it there. Giga Swing could be good. I need them to like walk. Like y'all need to change where you're standing. I'm not backing down. Cause he's like in my way. I'm not gonna be able to make it to him in time. Come on now. Take your best shot. <laughs> Got him. Nice. All right now she can just heal herself at this point. That's like less MP. Go go. That gunshot is fucking brutal. Okay, luckily she can heal everybody. I don't think I have too many more of those. Yeah, for lowering someone's defense. Cash increases. Drop an item. Nah, I just have all item stuff for support stuff. Let's do this again. I feel like the gun is like almost impossible to guard against to like Okay, I'm gonna need more MP after this. You're gonna be in a world of hurt. You wanna go? So we're gonna use my turn to give her MP. I wish my defense buff would my debuff would go down. Nice. I'm up. So what kind of support stuff does he have? Oh, he doesn't have any MP though left. You're gonna get stomped. Yeah. But what kind of MP stuff do we even have? 100 MP? That's like a lot for him. He's not even that good. Let's give him the 30 MP back. Come on, this will do. Next is this guy, which sucks. But yes, haha. He's not good at his job anymore. Um, honestly, I could just use getting some... Actually, I have a lot of MP left, so maybe I can use one of my debuffs or whatever. Um, honestly, it probably won't work, but let's try this. Like, it's probably not gonna work, but maybe it will. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't work. Alright. That's fair. I kinda thought it wouldn't, so... Um, okay. You're gonna get Let's go. Go, Let's go. go. Right. Okay, now she can... I mean, all is kind of dramatic, but... We'll do all because... If Kasuga dies, we're gonna have to revive him. I don't even think I have anything to revive him on. Then what's his gonna need more MP? It's gonna be a whole thing. Um. So unfortunately, that other guy is next, so that's like kind of a pain. Let's rock. I got this. I'm up. Okay, now it's his turn. Let's do this one, the skewer thing. This one maybe do fiendish slash, because maybe that'll do something. 
The counter is like, yeah, a lot. Mm. Let's try this. I don't think it's gonna work, is the thing. And after this, she has to heal everybody. So hopefully she doesn't like die or anything. Damn, see, it doesn't work. It's like, damn, just what a waste. Okay, um... This still does the most damage, so... Damn, he got knocked out from that? Right. Well... I'm not sure what I should do now. Hmm. I mean, I definitely gotta do this first, so I guess this is kind of regardless. We have to do this. I could use Kasuga back, though, but... I mean, I Kasuga Adachi. I don't think we have an item that revives, so I would have to do it with my own MP, which is a lot, because... I don't really have any left. I mean, screw it. This is what we bought the stuff for, so we'll have to revive him. Oh shit, I'm drunk now though. What does that mean? I didn't I didn't know that was a thing. Oh no! Restore our allies HP. Try this on the side. Let's do this Okay. I'm ready now. God, don't die again. Oh my god, just just for him, bitch, are you fucking joking? Just for him to die again? So I wasted my time. I wasted my time. Oh, I should have just did myself. I should have done all heroes. That was a mistake. Okay, we're just gonna have to do this by ourselves. Can Psycho do this with me? I guess so. I never saw her do this with me. I thought it was always Adachi. God, okay. Try this on the side. Let the Adachi go away. Thank you. Yeah. This is rough. Come on. I'm working so hard. Oh. I don't think I have enough to do it. I don't have enough to restore my own HP. I mean, stamina light, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone just hanging out watching the fight. Okay, so now I'm sober again. I mean, do I have any items that will... Maybe the 30 again. Oh no, I ate all of the 30 ones. You could do 100 MP. That's kind of a lot. No, I don't think I have his peerless resolve. I'm not Let me check though. Down. No, I don't. Um, okay, so yeah, I mean, it's not the You're best, and I still don't know what being drunk means. But girl, if you don't stay alive, right. it's just me and Kasuga. Like, we're not gonna bring back what's his face. That was a mistake. Okay. One of the stuff is he always gets to go like right after me now. So it's tough to keep everyone like alive. Well actually we just have to heal him. Because she's actually fine. That might not be true after this turn, but she's fine for her now. Okay, um, I don't see how much damage is even doing. It's costing a lot. 220? It's okay. 
I don't think I do, it does as much damage when I don't have a dachi as the other person. Okay. We're running out. We're running out. Oh! I'm not backing down. I mean, Giga Swing could be good. We'll just do Batbreaker and see what that does. That's honestly, like, I think better than doing the other thing I was doing. And it's cheaper. He's gonna have to give me more MP after this because I'm I don't have any left. I'm also just fighting for our lives out here. I mean he's next after, so I have to give her an item that maybe has both MP and HP. The stamina light. Okay, hopefully this is okay. I don't even I don't know who's gonna attack, so that's another thing too. Great, great. We really needed that. We actually really needed that. Okay. So I'm going to heal myself. And he goes again, which kind of sucks, but that is what it is. Okay, we at least guarded that one attack. So now, let's just do Batbreaker again. Okay, now she can heal him. Thank God. Right. Okay, so now Let's we go. could heal him, but we also we really need him to get his MP back. So I think just stamina light on this guy. I got this. Use this. Thank you. Yeah, I think, I think just still the backbreaker is gonna be where we're at. Okay, let's see. Check this out. Yeah, once I realized I need to stop fighting him and just kill Nanba first, that was like the key. Um, okay, so because he's a little hurt, yeah, we just we just really need to keep him alive and I haven't gotten hurt yet, so. Oof. Oof. Shoot, okay, so right now it's his turn, and the other guy goes next, and I'm really weak now. Um... Oh, okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, if y'all could, if y'all would refresh. I don't... I don't think I got any dropped frames, but... Okay, so I really need... HP. We're gonna eat this luxurious snack. Oh shoot. Oh no, no, because I'm next, yeah. Okay, then I can heal myself. Then he's next again, which sucks, but... Whew. Okay, um... I think Kasuga can handle another hit. I hope so, I pray so. Oh, barely, barely, barely. Okay, restore an ally's HP. That's gonna be me to him. He's almost 100% now. Now it's his turn again, but then it's the other guy's turn again. So it's like... Hmm. I mean, I can't, I can't afford to die, because if I die, it's all over, so like... Oh, she's next. I didn't realize- oh. Oh, he was next, but he just took a long time to attack for some reason. I guess I have to heal him still, because... That's just where we're at. If we can just get one of these to miss, that would be ideal. I mean, I have to just take... 
I just have to take more stuff because there's no option. Because if I die, it's like all over, so... This is the last healing thing I have. Because I don't have any MP after this, so... Finally! Yeah, at least like switch up who you're hitting, you know? Okay, so she doesn't have any MP, so that's very dangerous, but... I'm really close to him being dead. So we're just gonna try to... Yep, finally. Finally! We had to use a lot of items, but we did it. We got through it. Ooh. We were out there without um, Adachi, because he sucked. the looks of that smoke let's bounce cowards where are you going adachi failed us is what happened at the end of the day the fight's so incredibly annoying Fools. i think it was either my second try or my third try so not too bad Whew. what Man, that was rough. Ishiota, son. Legit one of the hardest fights in the game. Well, we did it. Damn it. We did it. Since you came all this way, allow us to show you some hospitality, Ogasawara-san. He is really cool. History now. All the counterfeit bills. And my brother. <sighs> you had to wait until the very end to stab me in the back. Namba, I wish I could have saved something that would have led you to your brother. But your life was on the line, man. Shut up! If you ask me, Namba, you have very good friends. You call them friends? Yes. And I can help you with your problem. You want to know where your brother is? Damn. Huh? He's dead. He was very close to discovering the truth of the fake bills in the He's Jinchen. dead. I knew that if he discovered that truth, I'd have to kill him. But I also knew that killing him would be a terrible hey, waste what's of up? his talent. He's so alive, working for us. Use him. Where is he now? I can't tell you. He's residing among the outcasts of our residential district. He's not allowed to leave, of course. No, but he's safe and well. Really? What the fuck? Why did you tell us? I, I know it would have been risky, but still. Far too risky. We couldn't tell you, and we especially couldn't tell Namba-san. He's been a prime target of the Ejin-3 ever since he found out about the counterfeiting. So we're trying to well, band it off. I do see what you mean. Ah. You have to realize the only reason we're telling you now is because your friends helped me by risking their lives. And they did that for you, not me. Just so you know. So what do you say, Namba? I can't just take her word for it. I need to see him for myself. That's fair. Let's get the hell out of here, then. I really don't feel like getting burnt to a crisp. Yeah, stand up. Let's go.
you're my best friend that I've ever had. Been with you such a long time, you're my sunshine. And I want you to know that my feelings are true. I really love you. What do you think this you. place is? The public jail? Uh, don't worry, we won't friend. be staying long. I just couldn't think of anywhere else we could take a guy we kidnapped. Did it have to be here, though? Sorry. I'm uh towards the end question mark of chapter torture nine. Torture him, are you? I can't allow that. <laughs> this guy's the director of Bleach Japan. He led an Omi Alliance army into Ijincho. Thanks to him, the Great Wall of Muscles about to come down. Is that true? Yeah. So do you really want to let him walk out of here? Think about it. Hmm. Not really. Okay. Just be gone by morning. We got it. Thanks. Boy, do I have a lot of questions for you, Ogasawara-san. Lucky it's a long time till sunrise. All right, I think that was the chapter. Yeah, chapter 10. Justice tempered by mercy. Congrats on the victory. The fight is tough for sure. Yo, Sachan. How's Namba? He ran off to go see his brother. It's really cute how he wants to check on him. Yeah. I couldn't be happier for the guy. Uh, same with me. I didn't think he'd make it, to tell you the truth. Nice to hear some good news for once. Yeah. Even if it means Nanba will probably be saying goodbye soon. <laughs> I know, like 30 more hours to go. I think that was 14 total, to right? For his bro. Not like he's got much reason to hang with us anymore. Yeah. I realize that. In the meantime, we need to get this guy talking. Oh, 15, I think, right? 15 chapters total. Let's get started then. <laughs> Ungag him. <sighs> Don't you dare shout. Try anything funny, you'll catch hell. Try to run, you get hit. Don't answer a question, you get hit. That's Damn. how it has to be. We're about to beat this dude's ass. Now, how did you fall in with the Omi Alliance? I notice when you tell them to jump, they ask how high. Why is that? Hey, remember the rules for not answering a question? Let's not resort to beating him just yet. Huh? But if we go easy on him, he's just gonna... As we speak, the Omi Alliance may well be looking for you. But, it's going to take them some time. How competent are they? Will they get here before we finish peeling off your fingernails? Oof. Ask him what he thinks about forcing us to burn down our own home. Huh. Personally, I won't be stopping at just the fingernails. Get it? We're serious. Now tell us how you're connected to the Omi Alliance. Why are you the one holding their leash? I'm not the one holding the leash. 
I didn't really think you were. Who is, then? You know. Ryo Aoki. Yes. You all know him? Who doesn't know the governor? The real question is, what's his real name? Oh, don't play dumb. We've done our homework. Uh, what? Masato Arakawa. Uh, how do you know that name? A long time ago, I knew him as the young master. He knew me as Ichi. Back when the Arakawa family was still in the Tojo clan. Uh, uh. So, Ryo Aoki really is Masato Arakawa, huh? I met him almost 20 years ago, when we were studying abroad in America. He was majoring in political economics, and sharp as attack. Was he going by Ryo Aoki when you met? Yes. I didn't learn his other name until later. Was he in a wheelchair? No, but I heard he used to be, which actually I don't understand. Was he, really? Yeah. Then he must have gotten treatment in the US. You can get anything there if you have enough money. Even unapproved medical procedures. So he had money? <laughs> he certainly lived a lavish lifestyle. I could tell he was wealthy right away. I figured it couldn't hurt to get to know the guy better. Kiss ass. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I mean, sure, I knew he was rich, but I didn't know he was that rich. And it was shocking to learn about all his connections to the criminal underworld. I was just amazed at all the opportunities he'd grown up with. Now for and real. Yeah, to that. What? He wasn't satisfied with any of it. Not even a little bit. He wanted something completely different. What was that? Front-facing power. Front-facing power? That was his term for it. He used to say not everyone can be controlled by Yakuza threats or bribes. People like that can only be controlled with front-facing power. Power you could see. Basically, popularity. Popularity? What, you think that's something only a teenager would want? Well, sure. Then you don't understand democracy. Under that system, it's the only path to power. As long as you're well-liked by the majority, you can get away with anything. I hate politics. His money and criminal connections he called his rear-facing power. He said without the front-facing part, his power wasn't complete. So he decided... To become governor of Tokyo. Yes. He said the governor had the most front-facing power of anyone in the country. Does he? Isn't the Prime Minister above him? The Prime Minister is just a figurehead, chosen internally by the Citizens' Liberal Party. So essentially, you only become Prime Minister by having a few friends on the inside. But to be Governor of Tokyo? That takes real popularity. Ten million people have to like you. Every vote you get represents a tiny bit of the power you have. But what about the power of money? The Prime Minister controls the national budget. <laughs> But Tokyo's budget alone is 14 trillion yen. That's more than some countries. So the governor has both an incredible amount of money and the support of the public. <laughs> Who can compete with that? Rio Aki knew all of this. Yeah. He wanted that hey, like a dragon. Thanks for the sub tour. I appreciate it. But I was happy to become a partner in his grand plan. Like the dragon. One was founding Bleach Japan. <laughs> You think you're his partner, huh? You sure you're not his servant? Take it from me. The young master can really crack a whip. <laughs> I can ask why- oh shoot. <laughs> I didn't read that fast enough. You could have wealth and fame to- through- oh my gosh. Y'all need a- don't- don't make me time you out. 
Don't make me time you out. If I each each bound convections and business are gonna be banned terms on this. Who's ready for the next Splatfest? I'm excited for it. I'm a little I'm almost bummed that it's so soon. I feel like we just had one, so I'm like, I don't know if I want another one right now. And I do think let me check the dates. I think I'm, unfortunately I'm out of town during that time. Yeah, I'm assuming it's gonna be like the 11th to 13th and I'm literally in, um, I'm like out for a wedding during that week. So I might not be able to do anything for it, um, which is kind of a bummer, but yeah, I don't know. It is next month, it is November 11th through, I assume the 13th. Because usually it's like a Friday through Sunday type type event. Does it just repeat everything we just did, or is it just like more chats? Was it his idea to form Bleach Japan? It was his. And getting rid of all the great. Yes. Although you went with it because I knew he could use the Arakawa. It was an advantage no other political. Which I not have sat down here already. I knew that then. Pretty soon he was delivering results. <laughs> The young master knows exactly how to use puppets like you. Guys who get all weak in the knees just for some cash. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Can't expect me not to make fun of a suck-up like you. So what happened next? Yeah, it's next month. It's November. Early November on, 11th. People thought of bleach Veterans Day. Day. Our only goals were to eradicate corruption. And I think the day that the Black Panther movie comes out equal. as well, so. We marched around the city. Really? I thought so too at first. I'm just but kinda... knew exactly what he was doing. He had his ear to the ground. He knew what society wanted. What do you mean? Eliminating corruption, creating a fair society. Words like that have a lot of appeal. People thought it was naive, sure. That's a bummer. I should but be free that way again. Nice. Exactly what they wanted. So people would praise us for our morality, if not our practicality. <laughs> Crazy, huh? A bunch of youths who'd never worked hard, shouting for the world to do as they said. But all the attention made them feel accomplished. I thought people only did that shit because it's trendy. Exactly my point. We made it trendy, and that attracted people who wanted to seem hip. Those types are everywhere. You can hardly walk down the street without bumping into them. They came to us in droves. The organization grew bigger and bigger. We even paid a bunch of women to join so we'd be gender balanced, and that attracted more people. It was funny to see those girls bring in guys who claimed to be so passionate about the cause. <laughs> Hell, that's how we got Kume, now that I think about it. I'm also picking water, even though I won't have time to do it. Is that the type of guy who'd fall for some girl's sweet talk? It took some time, but eventually we had members all across the country. <laughs> That gave us an unexpected bonus. What bonus? Turns out, when you attack Grey Zones, the corrupt local politicians start coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> they just can't resist. They're too addicted to money and influence. So a bunch of corruption was going on. It was so easy to grease their palms, or even blackmail them. I mean, so often we would just stumble across info that would completely ruin them if it went public. You call that a bonus? It's a bonus when you can make politicians do whatever you want. <laughs> Makes you even worse than the politicians. How many members does Bleach Japan have now? If you count all permanent employees at every branch, we're 500 strong. Wow, 500 tight asses. But then there's the 100,000 people who join us for marches. 100,000? Yep. And here you have their leader tied up and pissed off. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. May I ask you a question now, Kasuga-san? Who? Shoot. Why are you here? Aren't you ex Arakawa? That's a good question. I honestly you know, lost track of why I'm here. I want back in the family. I could put a word in with the governor. Hmm. Think about it. How do you benefit from helping the Eugene Three anyway? Why not leave all this trouble behind you? Yeah, trouble's a good word for it. Right? So, why not let me go now? It'd make both our lives easier. Look, I don't want back in the family. But I'm no ally of the Aging Three either. No. 
I just want to get the guy who killed my boss. In fact, when all this started, I didn't know a damn thing about mob Yeah, I can see that. Optimus. <clears throat> Feels out of character for him. Get the picture now, kiss ass. We are not doing this for ourselves. We're doing it because someone picked a fight. And we're just making sure justice is served. Unfortunately for you, you're the guy who picked Ooh. the fight. <clears throat> hey, you're the one who asked the dumb question. Think before you open your mouth next time. I was a stepping stone to the governor's seat. Damn, how long did the young master plan this? Oh, we still have to just keep, like, doing that. Oh, I guess I already did this part. Let me save anyway. Ogasawara-san. Ooh. You and the young master got bleach Japan off the ground. The last fight what came next? is one you save three times after winning, after he got just to be sure. <laughs> scale, he started phase two. He sought out media attention constantly. Another brilliant... Oh, excuse me. Oh, gross. Press flocked from all over to interview the charismatic young man behind bleach Japan. He was front and center every day. He even went on some talk shows. <laughs> it helped that he had a great smile he was willing to flash at every camera. Seriously? What does it matter if you look good on TV or not? <laughs> it matters a lot, even more than what you say. When it comes to popularity, looks are everything. Fine. Is this story anywhere close to the present day yet? Yes, actually. In 2010, Aoki ran for the House of Counselors. When he announced his campaign, he said he was leaving Bleach Japan. But that was only true on paper. Sure, we all know he still controlled it through you, his loyal dog. Ooh, Luigi, if he was in Yakuza. Uh, we'll do that after the cutscene. Come on, keep talking. Or if there is dialogue, I can read. endorsement of the Citizens Liberal Party, he won that election in a landslide. And two years ago, he ran for governor. Was that a landslide too? I wouldn't call it that. Why not? It was more than a landslide. His popularity was off the charts. He had loads of funding. On top of all that, the Arakawa family dug up dirt on all his rivals. Truthfully, it was basically impossible for him to lose. The election was practically a formality. Mm. And afterwards, he just kept riding the wave. Six months post-election, he exterminated the Tojo clan with the Kamurocho 3K plan. Of course, he only pulled that off because the Arakawa family was feeding him Tojo secrets. Did that happen around the same time as this? Yes. And people loved him even more when they saw him wiping out the Yakuza. He hardly wiped out the Yakuza. The Tojo just got replaced by the Omi Alliance. That's true. Once the Tojo clan was gone, he opened the gates wide for the Omi. I imagine being made the acting captain of the Omi was a fitting reward. Why didn't the people complain about the Omi coming in? The Omi seizure of Kamurocho went down quietly. No mess, no fuss. Everyone just let the Omi slide peacefully onto the vacant throne. Did they even notice what was going on? <laughs> I think they figured every town has its share of thugs, Tojo clan or not. As long as crime is low overall, they don't care if the thugs are Omi or just lone actors. So Aoki's plan worked perfectly. Yeah. It was the rise of Arakawa, both father and son securing total power. The son is governor of Tokyo, and his daddy's the acting captain of Japan's largest gang. Pretty sweet deal, huh? Hmm. Wait, hold the phone. What? Maybe society didn't care about the Omi invasion, but I bet the police did. 
You really trying to convince me the TPD stayed quiet during this whole thing? <laughs> they did stay quiet. And trust me, they had their reasons. Like what? Well, in the absence of the Tojo clan, the power vacuum attracted all sorts of non-Yakuza gangs. They were two-bit thugs going on little crime sprees, trying to get while the getting was good. They had no connection to each other, no patterns, so the police didn't know what to do. Soon, the crime clearance rate in Kamurocho was taking a nosedive. <laughs> but they knew if the Omi Alliance came in and took control, it would reduce the petty crimes. Plus, the governor would be able to liaise between the police and the Omi. It was a win-win. <laughs> ironic, isn't it? The cops wiped out the Yakuza only to find they needed more Yakuza. They weren't finished cavorting with criminals after all that. The commissioner's still taking Arakawa bribes. Huh? So according to you, the middleman between the cops and the Arakawa family is Aoki. Huh. So there's another three-way stalemate in Kamurocho. Only instead of the EG3, this one has the cops, the governor, and the Yakuza. <laughs> what the hell kind of point are you trying to make? The Omi didn't just stroll into Kamurocho. They had to have paid off the police commissioner. You don't know that for sure. Don't play dumb. If the police did nothing while the Omi replaced the Tojo clan, it's because someone at the top ordered them to. And Horono Uchi ain't the type of guy to give that order for no reason. There was something in it for him. <laughs> what proof do you have? I'm asking you for the proof. You gotta have something. Well? No, I don't. And I wouldn't know about it even if it does exist. After all, I'm just the governor's loyal dog, aren't I? A son of a bitch is what you are! Dachi-san, calm Damn. down. <sighs> Now that the young master is governor of Tokyo, is he going after Ijincho? It seems like that's what he's doing. Yes, but his target isn't Ijincho itself. It's Utaka Ogikubo. Ogikubo? Yes. He's the only cabinet member who's not totally cowed by Aoki. The rest of the cabinet does whatever Aoki says because of how popular he is. But Yutaka Ogikubo, chair of the Citizens Liberal Party, is still holding out. You know, I wonder that too, Ash. Like, how much time has passed? It feels like it's been three years. A politician who actually has a spine? Now that's a rare thing. I mean, I guess a lot in the sense that he was in jail for the beginning, if you count that, but, you know. Agreed. And he's stubborn. Under normal circumstances, he'd be a lost cause. But Aoki has come to know some things about him. Like how he also has some sway in the criminal underworld. Aoki has proof of that? No, he just recognizes the signs. Like Aoki, Oki Kubo rose to power through shady connections. When you do that, there's a telltale smell that lingers. Aoki recognized what he was smelling, that's all. And if he gets Oki Kubo out of power, then he'll be truly unstoppable. But it can't be easy for him to remove the guy. It's not. Aoki wasn't even going to try unless he knew he'd be successful. But he knew he would be once he smelled that criminal element on Oki Kubo. Then he knew they both shit in the same hole. Ugh. A crude way to put it, but... Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. So you were sent to the Eugene Show branch of Bleach Japan to help make use of this dirt on Oki Kubo? And the first thing you did oh, was buy God. off Mabuchi. <sighs> yes. You told him you had the Omi Alliance's support. He couldn't resist that kind of bait. You told him he'd get in good with them if he helped you. Mabuchi's never liked the way Jincho is divvied up among the Ijin Three. And with his high rank, he's the de facto leader of all the other members who also don't like it. Sounds like he was the perfect prey for you. Prey would you sent out to kill our boss, and made it look like a suicide. That murder got the Ijin Three all riled up and suspicious of each other. Whose big-brained idea was that? It was Mabuchi's. He knew it would bring down the Great Wall. Myself, I was never one for murder. Oh yeah? Well, an innocent guy is still dead. 
If you didn't give the order, then someone above you did, right? Say it! It was your boss, Ryo Laoki, wasn't it? Yes, it was him. I told him about Mabuchi's plan. I didn't think he'd go for it because it was so risky. Damn. In fact, I proposed a different plan of my own. But unfortunately, he saw nothing wrong with Mabuchi's plan. He was willing to accept high risk for high return. And he was eager to get the jump on Ogi Kubo. The young master saw nothing wrong with killing a man? It would have just been another murder, except someone had to pry open the crack it made in the Great Wall. You talking about me? <laughs> yes, but don't take it personally. It was always going to come to this eventually. Mabuchi wasn't going to stop until he had an excuse to start a war with the Seiryu clan. She's right. Our plan was to provide the excuse, and in the chaos, find something to connect Ogikubo to Ijincho's criminals. Sure enough, we found a counterfeiting enterprise that's been supporting the Ijin-3 for decades. Jackpot. Yeah, don't take too much pride in that. You had a hell of a lucky break. <laughs> yes, we did. We were lucky that you're bad at choosing friends, because it was Nanba who told us. He told us about the fake money and where the heart of the operation was. <laughs> it was all due to him that we were able to mobilize such a large number of Omi. I would love to thank him. Where is he, by the way? We ain't telling you. We're the ones asking questions. <laughs> Such a shame. Songhui, what should we do now? Our counterfeiting business is burned and gone. So Ogikubo's already lost a major source of his power. That alone is a victory for Aoki. And as far as what will happen to Ijincho, the ball's in his court. The Queen of the Komi Jewel is so calm in the face of impending doom. Excuse me? This city will meet the same fate as Kamurocho. What are you on about? Soon Ijincho will be under complete Omi control. No more Great Wall of Muscle to stop. Yeah, well, it's kind of complicated. So that is who Namba. That's who we met Namba as. We learned later that he was more doing a. It's weird to like. I mean, you're here, so I feel like you don't care about spoilers in that sense. But it's like that was who Nanba was. But then we like learned there was more to him than we realized. Yeah, the, the, you can also just say yes, <laughs> right? But yeah, also hi, what's up? Don't you see that? But he's not with us right now. He went to go do personal stuff. Hey, we'll see if he ever comes hey. back. <laughs> It's the Yakuza! They're coming here! Shit! How'd they find us? How many are there? I saw five of them, but it looked like what they level are their they? phones. They're probably calling for backup! You probably could have warned us a tad sooner. Hey, isn't he... <laughs> I've got a sharp nose for rats, especially when they're all in one nest. Chief! Sorry. I couldn't protect you. No, Chief. We should be apologizing to you. Here, you guys. We will, but you better let Captain Sawashiro know who rescued you. You got that? Hey, thanks for the oh, raid. Hey, Lord Kibbles, what's good? I was just Captain lurking on your stream. Uh, thank you for uh, the raid with a party of 44. Oh, let me do a quick pause also. Uh, what's up, raiders? I'm Jan Garcia, aka Game Monesis. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch, and I um, right now I'm playing Yakuza like a dragon, so. In case you don't want spoilers for that game, because I am pretty far into it, I'm on chapter 10 of 15. 
you know, hit the follow if the stream intrigues you and you can check out uh, what else I have going on at other times. But yeah, that's what we're on. So again, just giving some spoiler warnings on Yakuza Like a Dragon. And other things are things. I normally stream Fridays and Saturdays. I am looking to switch up my schedule a bit, but I will maintain that Friday, 3 p.m. PT, best of watch that I normally am doing. How was Mass Effect? How is it going? And other than that, things to share. Um, I'm playing this because it's a community selected game. Uh, my community really wanted to see me play through Yakuza Like a Dragon for the first time. And it is a lengthy game as it's an RPG. So I decided to spend this week doing a special kind of one-off event of Monday through Friday. I was streaming every day. Today's the finale, as the title implies, of that big push. And we went from being on chapter like seven to chapter now 10. So seven, eight, nine, 10, like three or four kind of chapters of progress of the game. So a pretty nice dent. Um, and I'm hoping to finish the game this month, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, thanks for being here. And uh, let's continue with what is one of many cutscenes that we've been kind of sitting and hanging out and watching. So uh, I think we're going to get into combat soon. So we will see. Let's exterminate all the vermin. I think this is it. Dun, dun, yeah, the music. The music plays. At what level are these guys? Because. 27? Ah. Uh, okay. The grind never ends. We got through a good chunk. Still got a good chunk. Sadly. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a fun game, but it is um, a lot. Let's try to see who, what would be good to do here. Mm, maybe this? Here we go. Let's just... Go, go. Nice, nice. There you go. Trying to knock out as many enemies as possible to... What is with these guns? Yeah, I've been playing for a long time. Uh, is someone able to confirm the enemy leveling? I swear they're just always one level above you by design. Yeah, like, I have no idea... What? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I guess I never thought about that. Is... Is that how it works? Like, will I never be at their level? I feel like I've been at their level before. Um, okay, so what did I want to do? I want to do this, because then maybe I can make this person love me. Damn, it didn't work. Okay, we can do Batbreaker, though, on this guy. Hopefully no one hits me on the way there. Oh, no, they got blocked. I really wanted to hit that guy. Well, at least this actually works out for me. They don't scale now. Okay, cool. I didn't think so either, but... Because I'm like... I can still find, like, level 11 grunts in the city and stuff, but... Ooh, everyone's like really hurt, so I'm gonna have Psycho probably heal everybody in a second. Ooh. Hopefully Adachi doesn't die, because he might. Shoot. Oh, thank God, thank God. Um, It's tough, because it's like he's, al he's literally almost dead, so I don't know what I should do here. Screw it, we're gonna risk it. Sorry, Dachi. Nice, and he died. Great, and now Psycho's here, so we can just do... Restore all enemies HP. I think I've just kind of been a little underleveled the whole time. Um... Okay, now we'll do... I him on this guy. We'll work on the other dude once his thing wears off. Yeah, here it goes. Nice, we got the bleed going. Oh, he's probably gonna be down pretty soon then. Right. 
Yeah, just get our MP back as well. And then we'll have her heal everybody next time she goes. Come on. 307, pretty good. And then boom. Okay, I mean, we're still getting there, so. <laughs> we showed them. Unfortunately, I think they showed us. Huh? <sighs> Why do you say that? They took off with Agasawara. Mm. He's gone? Yes. That was hardly our victory. Whatever. I'd already asked him everything I wanted to. Sorry about the fighting, Chief. Well, my people and I don't have much right to complain. <laughs> Seeing as we're not supposed to be here anyway. However, yeah. Next time you kidnap someone, take them somewhere else. It's totally. fair. I'll, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna kidnap someone again. Probably. <laughs> oh, I forgot the um the Luigi redemption too. Kasuga. On. It's Hoshino from the Seiryu clan. Well, we'll see if the cutscenes are done. He's never called this number before. Only be bad news. Yeah. I see. Not exactly. No, Comey Jewel's system is out of commission. For once, I only know as much about what's going on as you do. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan's rank and file is probably real pissed off right now. That's what Kotska was saying. When will we have it back up and running? Huh. Now there's a question. I won't be able to say until I survey the damage, but it definitely won't be anytime soon. Yes, that's fine. What the chairman say? The Seiryu clan quelled their infighting. Captain Takabe handled it. Really? He made it out okay? Was there anything else? Yes. The problem with the Yokohama Lioma. Hoshino hasn't been able to reach Zhao at all. Huh? This whole time? Yeah. For all he knows, Zhao could be dead. That's why he was asking us to use our surveillance system. He wanted us to check on Zhao. Can any pieces of that system even be saved? I doubt it. Damn. And you know what else? The last time Zhao called us, he told us over the phone there was a coup d'etat happening in the Luma. I wish I could use my guys, but there's sort of a coup going on. Mabuchi's been whipping all the boys into a frenzy. They ain't happy the counterfeiting was kept secret. Just because it's taking a long time and I don't know how much I'll, if I'll have a gap, I'm going to do the... I'm going to um, refund your points, t -Roy, but I'll still do the redemption if I like remember to do it. I just don't know if I'll be able to have time to do it. Um, so thanks for the uh, patience on that one. Uh, Shit, I'm out of time for chit chat. Looks like we got another job ahead of us, Song Kui Son. And what makes There's you no say that? Yeah, yeah. Really? After Zhao put your There's just so much cutscene here. Even though he was in danger, <laughs> I was trolling mostly. Well, yeah, that's that is the whole point of the redemption. But once we get into um, a fight again, I'll I'll do it. I just keep forgetting. I forgot the last fight. I could have done it then, but. Help you instead of his own group. Now he's in even worse trouble, and you're just gonna leave him hanging? A fair point. Besides, if you want to resist the Nomi takeover, you can't afford to lose him. That's my take anyway. Jeez, Kasuga, are you gonna head over to Zhao's right this second or something? Surely not. Damn right I am. Well, just, just hold on a second, would you? Staging a rescue in the middle of a coup d'etat is insane. Yeah, I understand. So... You coming or not? Uh, who said anything about me sitting out? I'm so close to cornering Horinouchi. Look at us. We all started in different places, each of us on our own mission. But now they're all coming together. Yeah, that's right. And that's because we had each other's backs. 
So what do you say, Song Hui San? You're practically part of the crew. Do you have her backs? Join the crew. Come we on. need another person. I think what we could do if the Coming Jewel started taking this alliance seriously. <sighs> okay. Now we're talking. Fucking A. Now, let's go and see if Xiao needs our help. Hey, you never know. He might be fine. Then we can just forget it. Now there's an idea I like. Just forgetting it. Oh snap, squad back together. Namba? I just got back from seeing my brother. Everything Song Hui said about him was true. Plus, they set him free. Nice! That's awesome, man! I'm real happy for you. Thanks. What's up? He's still got the long face and all. There's just something I want to say. Okay, shoot. Ichiban, you need to understand something. Ijin Cho is going to be what it's going to be. Mm. Leave it alone. What? So you gave up? I mean, on... why do you even care what happens to the Ijin 3? Why are you doing all this for them? Why not just get out of this dump? Why should you keep sticking your neck out for them? <laughs> You're starting to sound like you care about me. I just think you need to stop playing hero. Damn. That's why you end up getting used. Especially by guys like me. Wow. Used? I don't see it that way. You did what you had to do to help your brother. I get that. He's so understanding. But doing what I had to for my brother, that led to bad things. It made me help the scumbags who killed Nonomiya. But that was... But nothing! <sighs> I can't wash the blood off my hands. They're not the only thing that's stained. It feels like my entire soul is tainted. Like I'm branded forever. All because of this goddamn town. Honestly, I'm just sick of this shithole. Damn. No, All right, let me ask you. Good is gonna come from staying here and helping these people. What do you mean, us? You'll eventually end up just like me. What us is there? You don't want that, do you? You dipped on the team. Come on, Ichiban. Think of yourself for once. You did 18 years of hard time. Don't let other people shit keep you a prisoner. I'm not the only one. Thank stuck you, in shit, man. This whole city is. But Ryu Aoki and Oki Kubo dragged everyone into their stupid power struggle. They started this whole mess. I'm just one guy caught in the middle of it. And keep in mind, I ain't just some random outsider. Me and Aoki, we basically have the same dad. Aoki would never put it this way, but we're brothers. And that's how I feel, at least. Oh. So I got some responsibility for him. I can't just walk away when he's causing all these problems. You've already gone way beyond the call, man. I could say the same about you. We aren't even brothers, but look how hard you're trying to save me right now. You're a true friend, man. Admit it. Don't say that. I'm nobody's friend. You know what I just realized? We're not even all that different. Well, please. No, really. You, me, Adachi-san, Sachan. We all just want to know the truth. That's been the core of everything we do. Figuring out what's real in a world. I'm glad he explained it because at a certain point, I'm like, why do we keep? Why are we? Why are we out here? Yes. I don't know, but I've heard enough. I'm leaving. Fine. But I won't say goodbye, because I think we'll be seeing each other again soon. Call on me, and I'll come running, pal. Take care of yourself. Should we stop him? Uh, he said his piece. I even see where he's coming from. <sighs> I'm gonna miss well, his give peace a chance. That's honestly what carried me through this it. whole game. I'm ready. Song Hui, I apologize if I'm overstepping, but hey, Bones, thanks for the follow. Stay behind. And why would I do that? Our people in the Komijul are scared and confused right now. And I believe your leadership in person would be a great comfort. Hmm. When people make you go back to the office. They need you. Sounds like you got a lot on your plate, Songkwi. It's cool. I know we were just pressing you for help, but you got your people to take care of. I do. But it doesn't mean I'm going to abandon you, Kasuga. Junggi Han will stay with you. That way we can keep in touch. I'm not sure Seriously. who is who for oh, voice actors. I don't I think so. Service, Ichiban Kasuga. So I have like a cut in my hand or something. Hey, join the party. 
We got somebody. We got another member. Good, cause this shit was hard as fuck with just three people. So we will do whatever's within our power to help you. Junji Han is a very capable man. Hell yeah, he is. Oh, here we go. I can play you the Luigi thing. Oh God, he's. I mean, he kind of sounds like Mario, right? Oh yeah. Okay, he's just a little bit more neurotic. Kasuga san. <laughs> what the Komi Jewel can tell. <laughs> Zhao has seen at his restaurant. Sounds nice. it sounds bad. It sounds so bad. Oh yeah. You mean? Is it, oh gosh, Jin. Oops. Hopefully he's still alive. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wow! Battle tips! I gotta put a timer on this because I cannot do keep doing this. So odd. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. He's joining the party. Mario? Mario! Nanba? Nanba! Save. Save. Um, let's look at how much money we have. Let's go put it in the bank. We can put it in the bank. Wah. Yeah. Ah. Mario. 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 Hmm. 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 I'm, I'm I'm playing the song on piano. That's why I remember it. What am I doing this weekend? I am I have not figured it out yet. I think I'll go for a long run on Sunday. If Sunday I, my arm doesn't hurt anymore from the booster shot that I got. Stop the spread. Wow, who? <laughs> This is my Luigi impression. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. Normally, I am roller skating on Saturday morning, but I'm skipping that because of my arm. I have a piano lesson, but I haven't practiced very much, so I don't know how that's going to go. I have to practice tonight, I think. And, um, let's see. Uh, honestly, I think it might be cool. I don't want to put too much pressure on it. Because I do- Oh, no! I do want to rest, but I bought the Horizon Forbidden West Lego set. Like a month ago. That could be fun. Uh, let's go to skills. Let's go to psycho. And we're gonna have her heal him even though just because he he got hit by the car um Ben and Charlie did so far I don't know that that is true but I am trying very very much very hard to be Luigi I was Luigi once for Halloween it was very fun oh gosh that's that timer was very loud I'm sorry um hello eventually I want to do have it be which I tried doing this but I didn't get to work spoilers for the stream um I want to make it so that I have stuff pop up when the redemptions are happening. That way, like when people come into the stream, they'll like see right away, like what's going on. This is interesting because I don't, I don't know what this guy's stuff is. Head trauma, damage an enemy with a head and strike it. Let's try that first. Let's see what this is like. Oh, he like already. We could probably just do this regular. Everyone's pretty weak. Cool. 
we'll have to take damage from like one person, but that's kind of it. Yeah! Forward slot! Um, but yeah, I don't really have any big plans, but I'm gonna try to relax, because... I've mentioned this a couple times on stream, but I'm gonna change my stream schedule to make it, um, still that Friday best of stream. But to figure out what the other day that I'm going to, um... Um, what other day I'm going to... Come with combo. Damage an enemy with a repeated strike. Do we have, like, a... Stun? We have... Sleeping powder as well. Let's just try the head trauma one and see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna make it so I don't have to do that Saturday stream anymore. Just so that I can... See on the floor so Yes. Just so that I can have, like, a weekend again, because I haven't really had weekends off, like... Maybe in, like, two years, because I've been doing the Saturday streams... ...for forever. I used to stream four times a week, so I, I did come back on streaming a lot, which has made life... ...a bit simpler. Um... We'll try this. But yeah, so I don't know, because normally, like, my weekends kind of full up in that way. Like, I stream for, like, four hours, so it's, like, kind of prepping, like, doing stuff before then. Maybe getting a, like eating lunch or something. So it's it's been a while since I've gotten like the full freedom of the weekend. And then other times, like if I cancel my stream, because I definitely haven't always been perfectly consistent on the stream. Before, if I were to cancel it, it's like okay, I was either like doing that just to get some rest, or maybe like work on something embargoed. So, uh, and again, I don't think it's gonna remove working on Saturday entirely because sometimes, depending on when I get code for stuff, I might. I often use the weekend to have, like, that un un uninterrupted gaming time. I'm still trying to find the balance, because I like to game a lot, and now always on stream. Yeah, for me, I mostly, like, will, to a degree, pick games that I don't do on stream. I mean, it's kind of why my... I mean, it's not why my structure is like this. Let's see how much damage this does. But I like that I have... Yeah, that's okay. That's pretty good. I like that I have the games that we play together. Like, this is a game that I'm playing only on stream. I kinda- I'm basically only on stream for a game, or... I'm not on stream for it at all, pretty much. Nice. Um, so like, we do best of watch where I'll play stuff- Let me turn on the fan. It's a little warm in here. Woof. I'll play stuff here and there. Um... But it's like, I'm just taste testing stuff. And that's kind of how I pick, like, what I end up playing on my own. And then, I guess I have, I have like, three categories of... I have four categories of games, I guess. Maybe five, that's kind of a lot, but... I have games... that, um... are only stream games. These are, like, these community-chosen games. Um... Then, just, I guess, as a side note, I do the best of watch, so I am, like, streaming... those games, but, like, I don't beat those games on stream. Um, then I have games I play mostly just for fun, slash, like, for my own edification. So, like, something like, not Roller Champions, um, Roller Drome, I love that game. I started that on stream, and I really liked it, and I'm like, I'm gonna beat this on my own time. But I have yet to beat it yet. Um, that's kind of a twofer, because since it is a 2022 game, like, I'm also sort of playing that to see, hey, what do I think when it comes to, like, Game of the Year stuff, um, you know, Game Awards voting, min-max voting, kind of funny voting my own pen and pixel stuff. Like, those games always take a degree of priority in my personal time because they have that additional um, benefit. Then there's games I'm playing for fun with someone else. Um, and sometimes those games are 2022 games. Like, I'm playing The Quarry with Edwin. Um, that definitely has a benefit of being, like, a modern game that I can, like, mm -hmm. tell you guys about and, like, talk about on shows. But, okay, doesn't he have that date today? Oh, yeah, it's the guy with the date. Okay, let's check in on this guy with his date. <gasps> Did she stand him up? Oh, my God. I won't be able to deal with it. Ooh. Big date. Where is she? For real? It's been five hours. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to whoop this dude's ass. Hmm, who's that with her? Oh. Oh, her boyfriend. You're the one trying to rope away my Kyo? No, it's not like that. Your son's just... I didn't fucking ask you. 
I think you can just put your hands on another man's woman. I had a feeling something was up when she wanted to break up all of a sudden. Oh, damn. To think you were being played with this jerk off when we got home, I'm really gonna give you a piece of my mind. So you gave her those bruises. Yeah, what of it? Oh, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, this, we gonna beat this dude's ass. We are gonna fuck this dude up real bad. Join the party, man. Let's go. Are you kidding? You little... Don't fuck with me. You're the one that's gonna apologize. Oh, yeah, we're about to whoop this guy's ass. I'm gonna spend all my MP beating up this dude. Like, let's not even read this dialogue. I'm gonna kill you right here. Play the music. Play the music. Play the music. Play the music. I don't think so. Someone's got a secret weapon up his sleeve. <laughs> right here. Bring it on. Yeah, put the music on. Put the music on. What level are you? Like 12? It's gonna be so easy. We got like four people. You're about to get jumped right now. Are you joking? Um. I mean, this is... I guess we shouldn't go too extreme. I do want to save the MP, I guess, but like... Yeah, there we go. He's almost gone. Boom. Yo, yeah, that's why I beat his ass. Boom. Hell yeah. I love when games let you fuck up horrible people. Um... So yeah, I have those, uh, the, you know, the, the Yakuza games. Shout out to the Friday streams. My for fun, relevant games. My games with people. My evergreen games, and it's like, those are stuff that I play all the time, which I don't historically have a lot of games like that, because I'm not a big multiplayer person, but I do love Splatoon 3, and I do like Fortnite, even though I haven't played in a while. Let's see how this goes. I'm so sorry. My actions put everyone in danger. I had no love for him anymore, but... I kept lying to myself because I was scared. Oh, that's so sad. Being hit again. But when I saw Kuroi-san working so hard to change his life around, I knew I had to make a change in the end. I'm the one. It's not your fault, Shirakawa-san. Anyway, are you okay? I don't like the voice actors for these two yeah. characters. I'm fine. Well, rather, I don't like how they're voiced. Like, they're voiced differently than they were in my head because I hadn't heard them talk until now, so it feels kind of jarring, but... This is nothing new. Forgive me. I should have noticed sooner. Honestly, this whole experience has been rather eye-opening. <clears throat> I've realized I still can't do anything by myself. There's something I have to tell you, shirakawa san About what? I've still got a lot to learn. And I'm not exactly strong enough to protect you just yet. But I'll change. My entire life, I've always given up whenever things get tough. I was so afraid of failure. But I'm not gonna give up on myself anymore. I'm gonna change. I'm going to get a proper job and become a proper man. I'll become a man worthy of you and do everything I can to make you happy. So, uh, do you, do you think you could wait for me until then? Yeah, she's gonna say no and then say, I'll be with you now. That's my prediction. I, uh, sorry. I know it sounds like a lot. Unlike me, you've actually got a future ahead of you. Yes, well, in that future, I see myself with you, Kuroi-san. In fact, I'm almost certain about it. Huh? I'll wait for you. So, when that time comes, you think maybe we can catch a movie? I mean, they should just go out now. Like, why are we waiting? I mean, I kind of get it. I guess I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Like, he, like, wants to focus on getting his shit together. But it's like, that could take a while. Like, I don't know. But I, I kind of get it. He, like, he doesn't want to put that on her. Of course. I, I'd love I mean, they can go to the movies now. That was the whole point of the date, right? Like. Looks like those two may just work out after. I love worth fighting for. Yay! Um, I did not I did not do the side quest. Hell yes, bitch. Let's fucking go. Are you kidding? This is so exciting. I can't wait to call her up. She about to fucking slice motherfuckers up. She got the knife, she got the carrot. I I cannot wait. I cannot wait to make that phone call. Um, I did not do the side quest about the dominatrix. I'm not sure what that one is. Um I did a lot of the side quests. I basically am trying to do like all the side quests that I can. Like, as they come up. As, like, a form of grinding. 
But... What's this one? So let's head over... Well, it's tough because then we have, like, the next story thing is here. Let's take a taxi over to here, then. Good for her getting away from the situation. Yeah, that's very hard to do. I think Chinatown? For not merely jumping into a new relationship. Yeah, that makes sense too, now that I think about it. I mean, I had, didn't know which way to go. Alright, let's. Watch me. Who's like the closest to me? Does he have any like more area of effect things? You're gonna be in a world of I'm gonna be because sounds good. Nice. Oh, wait, no, it's my turn. I was like, is he gonna go or what? Oops, I didn't mean to go there. I meant to go the other guy. Oh well. Let's try to get rid of this guy. Get everyone healed up. Let's do. Come on now. Whoa. There goes. You're gonna be in a war. I got this. Go in it. Oh, has the bleed there. Watch Here we go. Get her MP back a little bit. Ooh. Yay! The bleed got him at the end. Great. Cool. I'm not backing down. Get alive. I'm up. Go go. Well. Is our bond automatically, like, decent? No, he doesn't have any bond with us. Oh, that's so sad. That's fair. Like, he doesn't know us, but still. Okay, let's see. Hmm? 
here we go. There's also, hold on, there's this too underneath this. Attack booster. Mm -hmm. Could use just a little bit. Alright, part time hero time. Into, into. How strong are these guys? It's good to have four people again. Okay, they're pretty strong, so. Damn, level 32? This is like kind of silly, but just to get a little bit extra damage in there. Nice, the bond. Let's go. Shoot. We need to get this guy to move out of the way. Let's go. Thank God. Okay, say we got bleed on him. Okay, he'll probably be down soon then. Oh, I didn't know I had to like. Had to like hit him in that moment. Hopefully, this will take him out. Nice. The next guy's gonna bleed soon. Oh, I'm surprised he's not dead yet. Okay. Um. Yes, perfect. Come up. You're gonna be in the world. Yes. Well. I'm not backing down. Take this alive. I get for you. <laughs> Oh, damn, missed. Wow, look at all those perfect uh, strikes. Okay, so now... Is this because we can also inflict like, bleed? Hopefully we can get, um, what's your face to heal herself? Oh wait, hold on. Oh, we got to go again. Okay, great. Shoot, I really gotta heal myself, so I couldn't take advantage of that. You nice about they learn a new essence. Cool. Okay. Okay, rough. I think she got a lot of people with that, so. We'll try this one, and then we'll have Psycho heal everybody in our next turn. I don't know who he's gonna be matched up with here. Or if it's automatically, um, Kadachi? Is that the closest ones? Yeah. Oh, it's everybody, actually. Okay, oh, that explains why it wasn't as effective, I think. Because I think it is everybody. Why it wasn't as effective when it was just me and Psycho. Yeah, there we go. Life is a lot easier now that we have a fourth member. Then I have a special feature on Tyne. I was about to go down the drain. Thank you so much. With finesse. With finesse. Yeah. Hey, tro uh, not trophy. Achievement. <laughs> um, too bad I doesn't. I don't know why they don't pop up when I'm streaming specifically for some reason. I have no idea what's up with that. 
Um, alright, let's... Where are we? We're pretty far away. I mean... It could benefit us to walk there. It's kind of a far walk. So if we can go to the bar... Then we can go to this thing. Maybe we'll hear the cats that we're always looking for. Also, look, there's a thing here. A cicada shell. So this guy. I have a shark fin bun. I've tried a lot of them. Okay. Sure. Sounds good. Hold on, I'm just trying to... Whoop. All right, let's fight these guys. Watch me. And then uh, maybe we'll stop things once we get to the bar, but we'll see. This seems cool. Like the stun option. Shoot, wrong button. Oh well. You're They're all far away now. Maybe right here? Bring it on, get cocky. Okay, um. Not backing down. Going in. There we gotta start lowering people's uh the amount of people they have. Heal everybody. Job. Okay. Uh, like, I have no orient, no way to orient myself. Yeah, and we're gonna encounter so many people that we don't need to do every single random encounter we see. There's always gonna be more people around. Oh yeah, the tofu, yeah, yeah. I think we'll let them walk a little bit. Oh no, they're not walking the right way. Shoot, I'm going the wrong way. Oh no, okay, well. I guess we will have to fight them then. Oh, what's going on? Serious apologies. That guy, they mess up someone's order? Oh, sub story. Yeah. It's an easy mistake. Salt and sugar. Care mistake, we're sorry. So any consolation, the rest are still good. I'll see you later. Thank you. Sorry. You idiot. She forgave you because she's a regular. When we learned how to cook. I'm sorry, Dad. Honestly, I can't leave the restaurant too like this. So he's passing on the restaurant as his kid must be stressful. Maybe I'll keep an eye. So it's this way and then to the left, right? 
Yeah, and then straight down. Okay. He's going down this way. And then we're gonna turn. I think we'll probably stop by the the store first. You can go back for that if uh, for that same side quest. Wait, what do you mean? Since you're close by. Oh yeah, snap! I did not notice that. Thank you. I was confused by what you meant at first. Um, I was if you walked this, but yeah, 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 I didn't realize that. I had to wait that, a couple seconds. No! Watch me. Maybe they'll let me just leave. You're gonna get stopped. Over there, Ron, though, also. Okay, yeah. I just didn't. I just want to do the side quest. Last time I came here, the dad was scolding his son. Uh, we didn't have to meet up near the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, that's the guy who's getting yelled at by his dad. <laughs> You're always working so hard. And besides, I wanted to see you as soon as I could. Oh, son. I'm so sorry about last time. I really messed up that rice. Oh, that's all right. It was good for what it was. Damn. It was like a dessert. Very innovative. Good for what it was. Brutal. Okay, that's the lady. Why don't we oh, go to the movies? Oh, no. Where did I put those tickets? Don't tell me I dropped them. The town has a really good Mexican place with a few locations that we have, that were eventually split up between the owner's kids. Thankfully, one location survived. It is because the other one. Yeah, yeah, that can happen. It's all right. So sorry. We can buy them at the counter. You gave me this lovely little thing, so tonight's on me. Why is she like staying there for so long? Oh, hey, you're actually wearing it. A ring this cute for a woman in her forties? <laughs> Does it really suit me? More than anyone else in the world. Honestly, I, I wanted to get you something more expensive. The thought's what matters. But are you sure? I, I'm an old lady, you know. Oh, son, you're no old lady. Truly, I'm serious when I say I want to marry you. Oh, you the kun. I want so someone says I want to marry you, and the person says thank you. Hmm. All right. Damn, Swarthen definitely got a few years on him. Damn, he's out here judging. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey you're that guy's old man, right? Yuta. Yuta getting Possible. married, impossible. Not my Yuta. Oh my gosh. Sir? Sir? Yo, snap out of it. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to trouble you. The name's Tokuro Tanaka. I own a Chinese restaurant. Ichiban Tasuya. No worries. I wasn't gonna just leave you passed out like that. That's Yuta. So much to learn, and he's out wasting his time with a woman. Come on. He's bound to start seeing people at that age. Why not support him? No. He needs to hone his skills as a chef so he can take up the restaurant. There's no time for him to get caught up in love and whatnot. What's more, she's 40. Damn near old enough to be his mother. Yeah, but age shouldn't really matter, right? Oh, like hell it shouldn't. I don't want him to suffer like I did. Mm. I take it there's a story. Truth be told, my wife was older than Oof. me. She Aww. passed away when he was little. It's tough being left behind. I don't want him to have to experience the Damn. same thing. I get how you feel, but you never really know when someone's gonna die, you know? If they really love each other, isn't that enough? Yeah, well... I hear she's been divorced Ooh. once already. Her life's totally different from you, I mean, There's who has it, right? An amateur like him could match up with her? For all we know, she's playing him for a fool. You're thinking about this way too hard. Kasuga-san, forgive me for roping you into this, but do 
you think you could find out? Uh, me? Yeah, well, please. There's nobody else that I can ask about something this embarrassing. Yeah, I definitely right, accept. Fine. Oh, I appreciate it. Think you could talk to him? Yeah, sure. All right. I don't know if it'll reappear just when I leave a little bit, but you know what? Honestly, oh shoot! No, no, no! No, let me get out of here. It's fun times, but like it's just taking me too long to get where I need to go. I think it's here. I think it's here. They're gonna try to see. Hey, what's up, VOC? I mean, I I'm I'm rubbing up here pretty soon, but. So I was gonna walk over here, but then I'm like, oh, this is taking too long. With all these fights, all these random encounters. Um, but yeah, it's been good. We got through another chapter. I probably do need to do some grinding next time as well to try to like close some of those gaps that exist, but plenty of time for that later. Wait, is there a thing on the outside? Mm -hmm. Nice. Free nail. Let me also turn in my Part time here at work. Oh, I thought I had something to turn in. I guess not. Let's go ahead and deposit our money. That's a good amount to put in there. All right, and now I will walk over here do some stuff as it comes up. Actually, you want to go to the survive bar first. See, if, if these ones catch me, I'm, then the next fight that catches me, I'm just going to do the fight. It's going to be this way. I think it'll be these guys. Yeah. All right, let's fight them. Watch me. I'm not backing down. Take this. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Get ready now. It's one down. Get to me. Check this You're going to get stomped. <laughs> nice So probably enough to just take them. Even though I didn't, I didn't actually land the thing, but. Well. This guy. Yep. Pretty easy. Right. This probably won't be enough to kill him, but. Damn, pretty powerful stuff. Oh, good. Finish last week, so. Nice. Go this way and then to the little left. We're not too far away. So we'll go to the, um, the bar. Actually, I think we'll just go to the bar and heal and call it there because this can go on forever. I'm already decently over the time I was planning on ending at. Yeah, let's, let's go for it with these guys. Even they, might, they might be ridiculously strong. Oh no, they're normal. They're normal. Okay, this is going to be easy then. Of course, he couldn't just do it on his own, actually. Oh. Good job. Okay, then we turn this way. 
And then right here. I was obviously planning to do it like bonds and stuff, but we'll just. All right, I'll go back downstairs. Sit over here, and then. Because we have like eight of these in chapter nine saves, like let's just. All right. Here we go, y'all. This concludes Yakuza yeah, Like a Dragon Week. We have, let's look at our progress. We're on chapter 10 of 15 chapters, so pretty good. And when we started this week, we had... Wait, hold on. Yeah, it was this time. Okay. So... Is this time really right? Because I feel like it's not correct. The play time, because... I guess I don't know how long before I saved. Okay, the hours are a little bit iffy. Oh, we're just about to end, Joe, but I appreciate you stopping by. I'm, I'm kind of looking at uh, what we've done so far. So, for... I basically streamed for about 20 hours. And this does not represent this. Um, but according to the save, I only have like 10, I guess like 12 hours of time. Because 22 versus 38. Actually, no, 38 minus 22. 16 hours of gameplay according to the in-game clock. I feel like I did at least 20. One more week. One more week. Uh, I really can't next week because I'm going to be out on Thurs Thursday through Sunday. I'm going to be in San Francisco for the Kind of Funny Studio launch event marathon stream so you know please follow kind of funny games on twitch if you haven't already i'll be hanging out there for an unknown amount of time i don't think i have to like do that much but i would like to be involved as much as i can while i'm out there um but yeah so that'll be fun and um but yeah we started somewhere around here with like maybe 24, 22 or 24 hours, depending. Uh, chapter seven, then we did chapter, we did chapter seven, the spider's web, chapter eight, bleach black, chapter nine, a house of cards, and now we're on chapter 10, justice tempered by mercy. Um, we, I feel like we actually have a lot left. So I feel like, I don't know. Now I'm like not as confident that we're gonna actually finish this game this month because there's other like content I wanna do. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but we're gonna. I'm gonna try to figure something out. Um, how many more hours of the game do you guys think I have left um, with how I'm playing? Let me know if you guys have an opinion on that because I'm trying to figure out how much time I would need to dedicate if I wanted to finish it. Because um, I don't think I want to do another Yakuza week, at least not this month, because I want to play some other games and I already don't have that many days left in the month. But. Let me know what you think about all of that um, while y'all do that mental time at 20-ish if you keep the main story. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is another week of content. Um, we'll see what we can end up doing. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on a raid for tonight just because um, there's not quite many people live on my following list personally. And I like to keep it to keep it to my following list, though I know y'all are always at the raid to suggest stuff. But I just keep it to whoever I'm already following. Um, but, yeah. Yakuza, Yakuza mod. That's what it really needs, honestly. Um, but before we leave, I do want to give a shout out to all of you. Um, viewing, following, watching, moderating, and of course my patrons over on Patreon. You two can join over on patreon.com slash gameonesis with rewards as low as the $1 all the way up to the $25 sponsored here. Like my sponsors, this is with Davy, Black Clumberjack, Edwin Garcia, Jesse Clark, Kevin Fair, Margarita Castillo, Mick AK the Nanobiologist, Nina McKee, Platform Fanatic, Play Jason, Randleton, Spencer Icassiano, Ian Dobbins, Chris and Sky, Force Lund. Thank y'all so much for supporting me over on Patreon. And um, yeah, keep hanging out, y'all. It's going to be a fun time. Um, TBD on if I'm going to do streams at the beginning of next week. I had some stuff kind of planned in my calendar, but I want to make sure I have time for other work that I want to do, um, especially writing. I would love to get my new... Um, best of list updated before it gets too late over on Pentapixels. Um, so I might just focus on 
writing, planning, and getting all that stuff together before leaving on Thursday for San Francisco. So I don't know. I might do some streams. I might not. Stay tuned. You can follow me on Twitter. That's probably the best way to keep up with my content in terms of social media, at least. Uh, and of course, you can follow the stream here and you can turn notifications on if you want to make sure that you always have the option to check out the stream. You know, no worries if it's a notification you end up ignoring, but having the notification will give you the option to watch my streams when they're live um, at, you know, your convenience. So that's always a cool thing. All right, y'all. So not sure what next week will be like, um, but stay tuned for schedule updates over on Twitter. And as always, I will see y'all here next time. Have a good weekend. Bye.